Ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, welcome back to another stream. We're continuing Yakuza Dead Souls. Part 4, Kazuma Kiryu. <clears throat> It's time to play a little game called Smack That on the Floor. Wow, the place looks completely trashed. What are you suckers standing here for? You guys can't even kill a single zombie. Here's the man, the myth, the legend, Kazuma Kiryu. Oh, now they all know him. Now they all know who he is. ドジマのリュウだ。ドジマのリュウだ。カムロ町の伝説の国道キリュウカズマ。ハルカ。I miss flip phones. Who are these idiot truck drivers? Kiryu's pissed as fuck, yo. <laughs> Kiryu chan. I find it hilarious that he actually gets into the brawler style of it. Actually, die super funny. What 
ちが、カムロ町が、壊れちゃう。Sunflower Orphanage. Intai, Enchou Sensei ga? Ah. I don't want to go away from here, but I'm not sure. But, if you just want to go to the same place... Okay, I think we're going to do the worst first. And that is socializing with the hostesses. Yes. I'm here and Haruka are the same place. Eh... I didn't have a lot of time. Yes, but...私行って大丈夫なの？ほんの二三日のことだ。こっちのことは心配ない。でもお前はよくやってくれている。たまには羽を伸ばしてもらった方が俺もこき使いやすいんだ。おじさん、ね、お土産何がいい？本当に？やった
銃も持たずによく生きてたわねあんたはアサギアサギ陸上自衛隊三島陸曹アサギミスズキリュウだあげるわいや必要ない No need 撃てないってことゾンビになった人たちを気持ちはわかるけどでも彼らはもう助けられないそんなことを言ってたらあなた死ぬわいらねえ世話だどこに行くの女の子を探している娘さん娘も当然だ当てはあるのいやいえならカムロ町ヒルズに生存者たちが集まってるらしいわバリケードを張ってねそこでなら何かわかるかもしれない<笑>銃声下行くわ。I'm definitely gonna take some time by the way before we're getting into the next game. The next game, getting everything is gonna be a huge pain in the butt. And with that, I mean like completion platinum is gonna take a long time and a lot of practice and a lot of hard work. And I personally don't know if I'm ready for it yet. I did say I was gonna go get through all the Yakuza games before the end of 2022, but after I decided to go and、uh, platinum all of them anyways, I don't think that's gonna be a reliable option. もしかして、キリュウさんえお、俺、長浜ってもんですキリュウ、カズマさんだろ知り合いいや一方的なファンさ、伝説の極道道島の竜ふーん、有名人ってわけほら、あんたに憧れてこの町に来たようなもんだダメ離れて何あ長浜さんあなた噛まれたのねああ気持ちいい turning この人はもう人間じゃない体の中に入り込んだゾンビの毒はやがて人を死に至らせるそして死者は歩き始める離して撃つなでもアサギ I'll take care of him. Hey, oh, that's in Janet. Kitty, you feel, feeling responsible? His <laughs> <laughs> HP bar just recovers. <laughs> Oh, 
Honestly, Kiryu is so strong. After getting beat down by Kiryu, this one we should pretty much just die. I don't think I've ever seen Kiryu this pissed. Kiryu never gets this pissed. And every single game I have a feeling like he's not as pissed as that he is here right now. Okay, chapter 2 opens up everything for us. Or, well, except for the underground Shaizu. So we're gonna go and open everything up. We're also gonna go and get all the drinks everywhere. So we sure be prepared. Just let me know when you're ready. Be prepared for the fight ahead. <laughs> Who are you? Nandi. The name's Hasegawa. You don't know me, but I know plenty about you, Kazuma Kiryu. Hey, don't look so nervous, I won't bite. What do you want? I need someone capable to help me get our data on the zombies. Of course, I'm willing to reward that work. I've been watching your fight. I've been watching you fight, so you know how to handle yourself, and I appreciate your help. No pressure at all, just keep killing those zombies and come see me when it suits you. Think about it, of course. I hope you, you see how this could fit both of us. Gotta say, expected the legendary Yakuza to be a harder man. How so? I've seen you fight, and it looked to me like you were going easy on them. It makes you hold back. Do you know how many people those things have slaughtered? You shouldn't think twice about killing them. Those who have become zombies are nothing more than a plague upon Kamarucho now. Don't say that. Zombies may be nothing more than a research project for you. But the creatures on the other side of that wall used to be the people of Kamarucho. They can't help what they've become. I don't want to hear you badmouth them again. Ha! <laughs> Who do you think you are? I know full well what those things are. I know how much pain people have been put through. I feel the pain more than you ever could. I don't want to argue with you about this. I just need data for the work I'm doing. If you don't want to help me, fine. You'll end up fighting the zombies either way. With the gear you have now, you'll be zombie fodder before too long. There's an armed dealer called Kamiyama in that truck over there. You should please gear up. 
I'll take care of putting together some rewards. The rest of you now have to go. I don't remember if we actually get to the bottom of Hasegawa's shenanigans. <sighs> Let's see. Kyushu, Kobo, Koto, Buki Drugs, Bantam, and Love and Heart. Oh, yeah, that's the strip club thingy. Okay, so where's the entrance? It's still down there. I hope at least a little bit more of the area is opened up nicely. Save me some foot hurt, at least. Bitch. Uh, move items. Let's see, we got the dragon rifle. And we got the golden gun. I do want to bring a... Assault Rifle, Liberator, should be good. Uh, we're not using those, obviously, the satellite. I'm not gonna use them yet, because I need a full bag of... anti-alcohol when we're going inside. Get those two done. And after that, I think I've done all the food items. Right? Challenges, food and drink. Almost. Right, we still need to do Pronto Bar, but we'll do that endgame. At least we can start with the Coos Bar and the Bantam. It's fairly close by. Uh, before we do anything, let's actually go in here, get that achievement out of the way. With Gary! Oh. It might be a good idea to also do the fishing and the golf. Oi. Train alone. Hey. Field combat. Ready, go! Oh. Press the wrong button. Okay, does that put my achievements? Yeah, all units report! Okay, that's another achievement in. Uh, let's see. Map. So the front of Camarucho is the only place that's still open. Kinda annoyed that there's only one entrance though. I just hope that it's at least a little bit easier to move around. Not everything is blocked off as that looks like right here. I can just move north to get there.
the same actually here. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, go inside right away, or do we, let's do the spec ops first on uh, Asagawa. And don't actually know what the goals are there, but who gives a shit in the end. I know that all three are open, which is good. Yeah. It's okay, I did ask you for help after all. I know none of those people set out to become zombies. Of course it's not their fault. I don't want it to spread any further. We can't let this go on. Do you understand me? Yeah, I do. Just wanted to say that. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Good to know I'm not the only one who feels that way. So, what are you here for? Speckles. Incinerate 300 zombies. Defeat a group of aggros. Clear an area. Enemies. Start with that one. Incinerate 300 zombies. It's gonna be annoying, I can already tell. I don't feel like picking up any... Uh, what is it called again? Incinerary... Grenades... Demo. Nope, we Gucci, we good. Did I pick up the ammo? No. no. Let's test out our anti. Uh... Can I zoom in? I actually missed. Wow, really? It doesn't kill? Defeat a group of aggros. Should be easy. 
Especially with the satellite. See that? Yuri, you can broke. That's great, Yuri's killing himself again. <laughs> I actually fucking ended up killing myself. That is super funny. <sighs> Let me heal up. <laughs> I mean, it's my own fault for not bringing any healing items, I guess. I am actually kind of disappointed that the... Oh. What's it called again? I don't remember. The whatchamacallit. The anti-material rifle is not as strong as that I'd hope. I'd hoped. Really got to be a little bit careful about this, though. It's good that only two of them aggro instantly on my ass. Saves me a lot of work. Okay, last one. Gotta incinerate 300 and zombies. Fire based attacks. I could get the fire shotgun, technically speaking. But who has time for that? Hey. So far, so good. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Flame throwers. things that I had before. Wrong button. Should I sing up close enough? I'm surprised that I never did this speckle before.
just um, just thinking of things again. Grab a mortal and throw it at him. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Game collision? Is that how you want to deal with my ass? <laughs> Fucking hell. Hey, we got the 30-hour uh, end uh, mark. Does that mean we have done all the directives? Clear Hasegawa's mission. Oh, we need to do that in a bit, I guess. We still need to liberate all these. And need to go back to Akiyama and clear these two. Okay, let me heal up. Did I pick up any items? Yep. Okay, 
so we're full health. First gonna do the three or last two bars that we still need to do. And open up everything that's still locked. Or should I go... You know what, actually, I have a better idea. Let's go to the docks. Let's clear that achievement right now as well. We are on the last character after all. Might as well do that. Who the fuck are you, mate? No. Fish of legend. Pretty sure you can also... Fish up some um, zombies. Just take uh, the squid one. to use the fishing instructions. Wonder if it's easier or harder in this game. Oh, wrong button. Hey, SQ! Rude SQ, I'm not a Yakuza. How are you doing, SQ? Stop fishing, sell the fish. But SQ, Doherty and Yordi are the same person. Except Doherty is a little bit more grumpier and mean. Sell the fish. Wow, 80. Weak. Shh. No, sh you. Don't shush me. Shush you. Okay, so that one is done. Now let's go to the golf course. Half my leg looks like the world map. Okay, interesting. Closest to the pin contest. Oh, no, I don't. Pin 
bit of Shamasin. Give me this one. I still miss a few things. Is this karma for me saying I like bruises? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Who's the same? Need to try a little bit harder. Um, that's far over, I think. Yeah, because I didn't control. Slightly. Um. It's too soft. Uh, some points. Yeah! Hey, hey, Dave! Since I have uh, iron rolled and two screws in me, can I say I'm 1 slash 4% robot? No. You're still not charged by electricity, SQ, so you'll never be a robot. Hi, Dave. How are you doing? Are you living the dreaming? No, I'm dreaming the living. That one is too soft. Not enough wind. That one is way too hard. Maybe the wind... No, that's far over. <laughs> Not far enough. Just playing up again. What do you mean, playing up again? I don't see anything. See, I always told you guys... I'm a bolt. No, you're not. SQ, stop being confusing. Dave, also, stop being confusing. Dave, SQ doesn't hate you for breathing. Got my achievements, that's good. I never know what you guys are talking about. I don't understand you. You guys are giving me a uh, hard time. Rude, Dave. You don't just go and screenshot messages. What are we? First graders? SQ, 
Askew hates no one except herself. I'm a cripple at the moment. So is SQ. Now you guys can hold hands and be besties. Bed bound. In pain. Like I said, so is SQ. Shit, this place is actually fucking pulled off again. I hate that. This side is open this side though. What the fuck is that? No barker around, huh? Ow. Bernie, stop killing yourself. I get to see the back surgeon Monday at last. Finally! Okay, Kotobuki Drugs is now finally free. Okay, now let's talk to this gentleman. You give me all the legendary drinker thingies. We're going full alcohol tonight. Glad at least, Dave, that someone is finally gonna check after you're back. Quiet as cute, so I didn't want to bother you. Okay, I guess we need to do this. Why, hello my friend. Could I interest you in our little host's club, if you have the time that is? You mean you're actually open for business? Haha, <laughs> you act surprised. There's zombies all over the place. You should get out of here while you still can, please. You underestimate the host's club business here in Camarucho. You think we're going to close up shop just because of a little zombie scare? We're not one of those fly-by-night operations. You have to go all out balls to the wall to make it in this town. Point there, my bad. No need for apologies, just step right in. Some real cuties just dying to meet you. And they're all zombies. Guess I could take a break. Thanks, sir. Right this way. Understaffed lately. What with our... Wait, this is an actual... Um... Free beer, didn't expect this level of service inside the quarantine zone. This is Reika. <laughs> that look on your face was classic. He's a zombie. <laughs> yes, well, the poor thing ended up getting bitten, but she was real cute before that. I'm drinking with a zombie, I'm out of here. Please, you can't leave yet. You're the first customer we've had in days. That's not my problem. Stay a little longer, please. Who knows? This might be the most fun you've had drinking in a long time. It's going to work her tail off for you, you'll see. So what do you say? So Reika, how long has it been since you became a zombie, that is? <laughs> uh, too bad we didn't meet before you became a zombie. <laughs> She's actually- how the fuck is she not attacking? Made for some interesting conversation. Well, I think I'll get going. Thank- take care, Reika. Leaving so soon? But you really seem to be enjoying yourself. Oh, I see. And here I thought you two hit it off so well. Right, that will be 30,000 yen, a special price since business has been quite dead. We both know I'm not paying that. Yikes! Oh, what's with that if looks could kill look? You have balls for trying to charge me for this, I'll give you that, but don't try it again. Am I clear? Yes, sir, please, please forgive me! I'm already disturbed. <laughs> what 
What a complete waste of time. Another one. Hey, Chief. Yeah, you. You gotta do all the barkers first. What do you want? You got to that host club over there. Yeah. They got zombies working there. Zombies. You gotta steer clear of that place. I mean, still come Rucho. There are still plenty of con artists around. Now our girls on the other end are the cutest around. So, what do you say? You step right in. Sure, lead the way. More zombies? Uh, just sit right there and I'll call your hosts over. Have fun. Huh. Got to talk into this again. Camarucho sure is a tough little town. This is Kotomi. She's chained up. She's also a zombie, just with a shit ton of makeup! She's in handcuffs. Handcuffs? You got it all wrong! This is her fashion sense. Well, what do you think, real babe, huh? Hmm? Why it look like her makeup's cracking? Haha, <laughs> she must be a little carried away. What's with her teeth? They're huge! Oh, don't worry about stuff like that. Look, you're embarrassing her. Hmm? One of her contacts slipped out of the place. That eye looks pretty red to me. Is that <laughs> In short, she's a zombie, isn't she? Oh, well, thought I almost had you there. Don't flatter yourself. Uh-oh, your face of yours could frighten a zombie. Listen, you've already wasted enough of my time, so let's hear how you'll make it up to me, well? Sorry, Chief. What would you like me to do? I No, how about this? You got a ruby. Can't carry anyone. ASAP. Uh, okay, that's one side quest done already. I wasn't actually planning on doing the side quest, but I feel like I needed to do it to be able to free up that one location to the right or left. Ah! Pumadeo! Ow. So, uh, why is there no Barker around here? I guess that means I can't actually free this place yet. We can go that way. How's the map feeling? I need to go to Bantam. Can we just easily get there? Looked off as well, good to know. But at least it's quicker to. Well, at least I think it's quicker to. The other bar. Doesn't matter, had sex. We have a saying that roughly translates into no matter she is a monster if she has a hole. Uh, yeah, I do not agree with that sentence at all. I have this thing called, you know, standards. Okay, so I do have to go the entire circle. Fucking annoying. Killing myself again. You said that I should go grab chalky milk. Thank you so much. Now I can open shop again. We're still under quarantine, but we'll keep our doors open. Come on in whenever you like. Wait, do I still need to do darts and pool? Uh, I think I still need to do darts and pool, right? Let's see. Uh, Trophies, and you can keep this one open, thank you very much. Uh, indoor sportsman, 
No, lounge lizards. Play darts and pull five times each. Okay, let's go play darts five times. Play bell hunter ranking, play darts. You mean. Okay, from now on, I'm Joe. Joe Mama. Yeah, I don't have a girlfriend, too. Those are objectifying women. So they are evil. Wait, what? Sep, I think you have me confused again. SQ, speak for yourself. I don't like being lonely the entire time, okay? Thing you said I have standards, and I replied, Yeah, I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> That's why I didn't understand, Sap. You didn't have to explain it to me. Throwing! Dang it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, <laughs> finally triple. Except sometimes you're such a piece of work, you know that? Cool. Triple 11. Where the fuck is 11 on the dartboard? <laughs> Shit. Um. Well, I can't go out. Um. What? Why? <laughs> what do you mean, why? <laughs> it's nothing. Like, just let my head uh, do whatever. You mean misogynistic joke? I'm that type of person that laughs at everything. No, 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 not that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was not the missile. <laughs> the f the reply, yeah, I don't have a girlfriend too. <laughs> that was not the misogynistic joke. That was the like, uh, I don't know, man. Burnt two hearts. Yeah, man, just a little bit. <laughs> just a fucking little bit, mate. Why don't you guys download Tinder and get tender chicken nuggets? Tinder didn't work for me. Let's just keep it at that. Hmm. 
It's straight up evil. I mean, Sep, does that matter? <laughs> you, you, you just said if it has hole, if it's whether it's evil or not, if it has holes, I'll use it. Something like that. Okay, I'll stop. See, I'll get better at throwing triple twenties. <laughs> oh, it's just a saying, and it's always a dark joke. Truth. Overkill, no points. Root. Oops. I'm overkilling, guys. I'm too good. Can you believe it? Aw, he's trying to kill me. How nice. Shit. No point overkill. Yeah, we uh, don't have six packs and uh, these kind of things. And if we like try to talk to women online in any way, they are always like cringe. <laughs> uh, okay. Listen, I don't even know how to how to start conversation these days anymore with people. It's it's probably due to me being too much on Twitter because Twitter is like I, I sometimes like read these things like if you say hi to me in a DM, I'm like okay, I'm already expecting the worst and I'm like Nani? Why? <laughs> Life is harsh, man. Life is harsh. Okay, now let's do count up game. Plane date, speed dating, enter dating shows. Sir. Exit. Nope. Same. Shit. Look at my nice low Tom. I could never do a blind date or dating shows. There's too much pressure there. Why is SQ talking about that? We can't joke around anymore. Who said I was joking? <laughs> oh, hi, Tom, bitch. Hi, Tom. I'm too good at this. If only I could play darts this well in real life. I mean, at some point when I start, when I was playing darts, I still had a dartboard in my room. I could practice throwing my darts so well that I would almost always hit like the triple twenty. But when it can, comes to aiming, it's like money. Oh, oops. <laughs> Sheriff SQ is here. Tom 80, high Tom 3 in the bed, low Tom. Ok, ok, you two continue, I'll be back.
Smooth talking. I need to play two more games of darts. Mike Tyson was throwing bullseyes blindfolded. Yeah, see, I bet that Mike Tyson just uh, practiced his throwing just like I did, and that way he could, uh, like, uh, throw blindfolded bullseyes. Sir. Exit. Well, that was not really what I wanted to do. He has great control of his body since he's a boxer. Nice time. Wow. This guy actually out throwing my ass here. A uh, bull, triple 17, and double 20. Double 20. 17 is here. Boom. Clean. I'm back, bitches. What did I miss? We were talking about dating. Nice time. And uh, throwing uh, lions bullseyes with darts. So you didn't miss much, Dave. Hey, you were joking. I was kind of serious. Fuck hell, that's a hard pass for me. <laughs> okay, one more game of darts. Let's do count up. Sir. Serious about Tinder that it was evil and anti human. <laughs> yeah, I know you were. Same here. <laughs> Shit. Tinder is a cesspool of dating. I mean, at least you get, like, cesspool. <laughs> Uh. Wow, he scored higher than I did? What a dick! Come on, Jordi. Crap. That was not a bull. That is like above the bull. Fight me. Come on! Come on! Triple 19, bitch. 19. Okay, I'm ahead. I just need to clean house. Or uh, whatever the saying is. Shit. Yeah, bitch. Nice, I win. Okay, now we can go uh, drink ourselves uh, drunk and use the magic Japanese potions that make you undrunk. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Seems you've have a li have had a little bit too much to drink. Now we can drink again. Let the booze flow, bitches. So, Dave, talk to me, boy. What have you been up to except for being dead in bed?
It seems you've had quite too much to drink, Mr. Kiryu. If I actually did a little, paid a little bit of attention to uh, the dialogue in these sections, I could have very interesting alcoholic uh, beverage tips, apparently. Lizzie! No, oh, I have too much to drink. Lizzie, stop making me drink alcohol. You want me to be an alcohol wake or what? <laughs> Nothing, Lizzie. I'm just being a cracked up comedian. Yay, Lizzie made her burgers. Zep, you know that after this game, we're starting Cyberpunk 2077 up again, right? Irashamasane. What kind of fucking name for alcohol is that? Well, I went to a concert last night up in Manchester to see a band called Mother's Cake. They are Australia indie rogue band. What's, what does rogue stand for, Dave? I thought they were from the Netherlands. I couldn't stand for most of the gig though because my back is royally fucked. Poor Dave. Yeah, at least it sounds like you had fun. Which is illegal in this car. I mean, what? Said nothing. Even if your back was fucked. Royally fucked in the butt. I don't know what my issue is today, I'm sorry. He still didn't tell me what Prog stands for. A Prog. Yeah, I still don't know what that means. Oh wait, this is Asia. This is not the place that I was... 
Uh, Conroy, Bantam. Oh, here's Love and Heart. Okay, let me go clean that open a bit. After buying more. Anti uh, hangover uh, drugs. Yes, I must say. Domo. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Uh, then we go this way. I could have just pew pew these, but meh. Band like Pink Floyd stands for progressive rock, so loads of different styles of music are fused into a song, usually with a lot of time signature changes or tempo changes. Ah, see, that makes sense. <laughs> Time to run to the next bar. Uh, map. No, okay, now I understand. I just didn't know what Hulk stands for. for standard. Standard even worse. And through here is probably the quickest way to the other bar. Oh. Then we can play five times pool and then we go drink booze till there's nothing left. Fall on a pro piano. The weird shit I request. I mean, I do like some of the weird shit that you request. I don't believe you, Lizzie. Streaming. Where the fuck do I have the time to actually go check out that massive burger in the Discord? That'll just make me jealous and want to eat the hamburger myself. Bubba said it looks like too much work. I mean, that's why you didn't want to do it, right? <laughs> That's why you didn't want to make the burger. Am 
am I wrong? Like it, Jordi, I try not to repress it again, but... Ow, I hit myself. I like to broaden your music taste. Mate, if anyone has a broad music taste, it will be me. The only things that I really don't like is, like, hardcore and such. It's because it's just drumming on my head. But I listen to pretty much all kinds of music. My brain is like making better. Ow. Eh. Uh. You know what? You guys are just enemies. You can die to the golden pistol. Better. Shit, where's the other exit here again? Wait. About to say there is another exit, right? Shit. I feel like I just wasted a shit ton of time. I don't like that idea very much. Tell me I'm not wasting my precious time over here. But I can actually go to where I want to go. From over here. Otherwise it would really suck fucking balls. Gordy's gonna scream and shout and let it out. He'll scream and shout and let it out. I'll be singing wo we yo we yo we yo Jordy just wasted a shit ton of time. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Yeah, Jordy fucked up. Dave Aki, but another other than that, my brain is creative at the moment, so I can work on lyrics while I rest. So at least my mind is busy, Lucy. What happened to your back? You slip discs, yet I either gotta have it removed or have spinal injection to seal my spine up. To stop future discs slipping. Oh no, those needles are massive. Yeah, I'd rather have it removed. Oh, you already just wasted a lot of time. I'll remove it, says Lizzie. Lizzie, I didn't know you were a surgeon.
Lizzie, if you need to shoot me, that means you're not a surgeon. Just saying. <laughs> okay, that one's funny. I approve. Can I exit through here? No. Kiryu, please don't kill yourself. We have no healing items on hand. This just in lending strip day was called in a motel with mistress at the scandal. <laughs> I don't think Dave and I could be friends if he was a politician. A cheating politician at that, even worse. Ow. Let me heal up because I'm kind of running out of HP and I don't want to die on my way. They see me rolling. They hating. They're trying to control me, catch me riding dirty. Soft series are not that very easy to get your hands on. Just my opinion. Welcome back, SQ. By the way, hi Zillar. Not all of them. I still need to go grab chocolate milk from SQ. And now I need two drinks. We want to play alone. Because I suck at this. It has a Tobolona. Tobolarone. Oh, look at that, boy! Good uh, Um... How do I zoom out? Oh, fuck it. Too soft. Hmm. 
Close enough. Thirty six at pool. Yes. We already knew that I suck at pool though. I just need to tell all of you guys that I suck at pool every once in a while. And I'm playing on my own, so it doesn't really matter. That was way too soft. Jordi, I'm speaking from experience. The anger. I hate that I can't zoom out. Oh, I can. It's just press square. did such a good job there, but the fucking failed. But the fucking failed. Can we, uh, maybe. Because I have nothing better to do. Oh, crap. <sighs> okay, try it again. Not, not the black one, Jordi. Not the black one. Oh no, wait, I need to end on nine. Okay, Jordi's getting better. Oh, fuck. I just realized that I need to do pool in Yakuza five later and gets all the fucking thingies that was not in the right direction you already so. too soft SQ, stop being mean to Dave. Yes, are we okay? Yes. Soft, maybe. Oh, good job, Yordi. Yes. You got this, bro. Someone's got to do it. You guys don't hype me up, so uh, I just got to hype myself up. Okay, nice. That's one game pull down. Thank you, Sep. Yes. This is why you're the main man in the channel. As long as you guys realize who the king is here. Aw, this time I didn't sink one. Sad face. 
<laughs> there are no Legos here, it's pool. I think it's time that uh, Lizzie... Uh... Use. ...stops being so mean. <laughs> That's England, Dave. We don't care about England. Combination shot, bitch! Oh, oops. Did I win? <laughs> I don't think I win because I went for a foul, because it ended in a foul. That's super sad. That's such a nice combination shot. Gets fucking punched in the dick. Lizzie can't be king, guys. Lizzie is female. You can't be a king. You can only be a queen of female. Unless Lizzie decides to be non-binary from now on, then she can be whatever the fuck she wants. People have spoken. D yeah, but since when does God ever listen to the people? And as far as I'm aware, I'm still God, so... <laughs> Fuck my neck. That's karma. Yeah, yeah, roll the five in. Oh, no, missed. Mm. Don't care about England, but don't you care about me, Yordi? Dave, I care about all you guys, but I don't care about England. You just need to move to a better place, Dave. <laughs> Yordi having superiority complex. <laughs> Lizzie like a boat trainer. I see this is uh, going uh, very well. Everything that I'm saying. <laughs> Shit, Jordi, be better. Hey, Dave, there's always uh, America, but that's not a much better country. <laughs> Oops. Because worse than England. I mean, I'd say that America and England are pretty much, uh, well, not that much the same, but they're close to each other. Mm. Oh, 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 I know, go to Canada. Canada is only nice people. <laughs> They speak natively English and French, I think, but, you know. Yes. You'd think at one point Jordi would stop, like, making a fool out of himself, right?
Okay, you're just getting good. Let's go grab that chalky milk that the SQ would hold five years ago. Glass of milk of the day because Jordi needs to do dishes and he doesn't have any more glasses left. Okay, what, what did I miss? I swear the English sent all these religion, <laughs> religious centuries ago. There are some parts of Canada where it's a lot of French. When I went, most people spoke English. Oh my, I have Coco. They started off in French. One just go to Yorty Land, yay. Yeah, true. Uh, in my country, a lot of drugs is legal to uh, purchase and uh, use. I don't know about hard drugs, but it's I'm pretty sure about the soft drugs called uh, weed. I am not a pro standing person to that though, so uh, just be careful with the amount of weed you consume. Uh, smoke safely, drink safely, drive safely, etc. And uh, sure, come visit Yordi in Yordi land, because of all the shitty countries out there, the Netherlands is not that shitty. <laughs> it, don't get me wrong, it's shitty, but it's not that sh Only if you don't know how to swim. <laughs> like if I get drunk and stuff. <laughs> also, don't swim in the canals when you're drunk. Just don't get close to the canals when you're drunk. Is that is that better, Sep? Do you feel safe now? Okay, SQ, listen, if I had a mansion and you guys would all be living in my mansion, there'd be no fucking drugs in my mansion. I'd kick all your asses if you'd even try. Stay away from the canals, it's gonna work. I mean, you never know. On the other hand, all the prostitutes are welcome. Which is also very legal in this country. <laughs> SQ, we've talked about this many times. Chocolate is not drugs. Lizzie still lives in the time where text meant SMS texts with pictures and stuff like that. Not the times where text doesn't mean shit anymore. It's called WhatsApp and DMs and uh, Facebook shite. Ingo, you should speak though. Oh, 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 I forgot. You also have the wonderful game called... Dr 
Oh shit, that is actually a very good one, Dragon Quest. Why am I such a nice person and always open the door? Okay, I'm back. No pizza. Just someone uh, that was uh, trying to sell stuff. I don't have any cash on me anyway, so... But Lizzy, I only have to play, like, after this one, two more games of pool, then I'm done. Not that crazy, Zillar, because I am uh, not that superstitious. I believe in coincidence. Like, just like how both Dave and SQ happen to be hurt at the same time. That sucks. <laughs> No, but they must be connected by something. Yes. Okay, two more games. It's because SQ is always scaring Dave. And Dave scares SQ. It all adds up! Does it though? Does it really?
<laughs> in Canada with Justin Trudeau at the helm. No, thank you. I have family there. He's a tinpot dictator. <laughs> Jordi was playing so well and now he's fucking up. I uh, I blame the man that stepped on my door or whatever that said hi at my door, knocked on my door, rings my doorbell. And that said you should buy this for sweet children so that they can have uh, baking clothes on the middle school of baking in Scheiße. Oh, nice one, Yordi. Now don't roll it into the pit. Okay, good. I went quiet, a friend rang me. I mean, they'd be happier if I buy them drugs. <laughs> That's not true. You can't say that, Lizzie. We can't blow, go buy drugs for children. That's bad. Illegal. I know I'm part of the Yakuza in this game, but, you know, you can't say that. Because I'm not actually part of the Yakuza. As Q says I am, but I'm not. I don't suddenly want to have Yakuza on my doorstep and that they decide to kick my ass because I say I'm part of the Yakuza. Shit. <laughs> drugs is bad, any drugs is bad. Even the medication that I take is technically way too bad for you. Even though it's helped me survive for 29 years. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. I only look at oh, with a sp suspicious eye when I had to take out more meds a few months ago because apparently the meds I use have a slimming effect. People use it to, you know, get skinny. I wish mine had a s slimming effect instead of a get fat effect. Oh, your, your aim is so bad! Hey, Cannon Schultz, 8 went in. Uh, never. Unless they can start 3D printing with organic stuff. Because I doubt your body would be able to use uh, plastic as organs. At least if we're talking about, like, the stomach kind of organs, right? Bones we could probably replace easy with 3D printing. But hearts and such. Ooh, nice kiss, Schultz. In space? Retina, I, Lizzie, uh, make more sense. I do not understand what you're typing.
SQ wants bones. Giggity. Yeti! Oh, go in, go in! No, never mind. That we're near. Okay, one. Yichi! <laughs> you know what we all need? A safe way for penis enlargement. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you can have my spinal disc when it's removed as <laughs> you. God damn it. Uh. Guys, what are today's conversations about? I don't need Yo. it. Wait. Penis enlargement or uh, your spinal disc? <laughs> wow, did I have to shoot it so hard? I mean, what? That's what she said. Mm. <laughs> Both, I guess. You see, I've watched too much porn in my life, so I don't know if I need a penis enlargement. But I do know that I'm insecure about my size. Yes. Why are we, why are we talking about this? I know you're already crazy and such, but you know, you're, you know what? After I broke my bone, I got a flashback of a nightmare I had, where the doctors cut off my legs. SQ, let me tell you this. I don't think you need to worry about them cutting off your legs. Why didn't my achievement pop yet? Oh, there it goes. Now we're uh, gonna play the alcoholic again. You know, I'm glad that... Uh, there are games when I can be an alcoholic and I don't have to be an alcoholic in real life. So, oh. where's this going today? Like, I know I'm mentally exhausted, but isn't this going a little bit too far, Jordy? And who's this guy to tell me that I have enough to drink, eh? <laughs> See? Now I can drink all I want again. Talking about willies, because you brought it up. No. Yes. But all the things we're talking about tonight, bringing all of it up, it's because I'm exhausted, and... I don't know. Willy, 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 woe. <laughs> Today, tonight is just such a... A night where I'm like... Yeah, sure. Let's throw some uh, oil in the fire or something. Burn some houses down. Make molotovs and throw them at the police. Plus some random person's kneecap. Oh, I had, I'm drunk again. <sighs> Kiryu, why can't you hold your liquor? Yes, 
one of these days there's gonna come something out of my mouth and then I'm gonna get cancelled for the rest of my life. I will never be able to show my face on the interwebs again. They'll be like, that Jordy dreaming, such a moron. Crazy person, should be put on death row, shot through the brain. Can't have that in our world. Like to grab a bottle of Pepsi slash cola or something, apple juice, and pretend I'm alcohol. Uh. Bro, I've only had two drinks. What the fuck? You know, shy saying. Thanks, SQ. Glad that you'll miss me. You could be worse. They could seal your mouth shut or chop your hands off. Then you wouldn't be able to speak. <laughs> That uh, sounds rather crude. I mean, Dave, she doesn't have like a disease in her mouth or uh, something, uh, some broken uh, fingers that are infected by something. Like the legs would make sense since she broke her sort of bones in her leg, but. Someone should sue my my uh, uh, my mouth shut. Yet, yet he says. Snevel. It seems you've had quite enough to drink, sir. Almost there. You just have uh, six more alcoholic beverages to uh, drink. Drown in. Even if you were cancelled, I'd still find a way to watch you, dude. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I should uh, take that uh, for granted. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, Dave. Or should I ask everyone, what is the worst thing that I could be cancelled for? And that has to be true, okay? And you guys would stop watching me. Yeah? Curious. Just curious. Cancel culture, let idiots say stupid things. We need something to laugh at. Uh. <clears throat> That's not what I meant, but sure. <laughs> Want to be drunk anymore. We got our achievements, we drank all the alcohol. 
We just need to do bar pronto, but that is only in evenings and it's not evening. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh yeah, Lele. Only hyper focus with one thing at a time. Nah, I don't feel like repeating the question. This lady is screaming way too early. Question in a sense that makes more sense, okay? That it is, huh? Uh, what was it again? Oh, yeah. What is the worst thing that I can do that has to be public, but you guys would still watch me? Anything past that would be. You wouldn't watch me anymore. もう2日何も食ってね。睡眠も取れなかったしな。実を言うと銃も弾切れだよ。存分に入ってこられたらアウトだった。だってそんな、そこまで追い詰められても。Sky's the limit, dude. No, I don't believe that. ゾンビだなんてよ。動ける。だってさ。no, no, 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 no. Try me. Okay, so if I'd rape someone, you would still watch me. I would like, like... Go away! <laughs> uh, what the fuck did I need to do? What does it say? Uh, do I have food? You want me to eat this? Okay, I need to go grab some food. Try me, he says. I'll come to the Netherlands myself just to beat you. Well, <laughs> if you ever raped anyone, I hate those crimes. So hard, yeah, no shit. <laughs> Speech is like a joke about it, or at no, like I'm literally asking you guys, what's the worst thing that I could do? Not just speech, like actually prime-ish things. Oh no zombies, good. We're bailing! Bee. Like, that's what I'm saying. The sky's the limit, but no, that's not. Uh, this 
discard, discard, discard. Watch you if you ever play Exile and Street. <laughs> Why are you trying to tell us something, York? No, I'm not trying to tell you guys something. I would never do something like that. No, 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 no. Never, never, ever, ever. The worst thing I would probably do is commit murder. With a good reason. But, you know, it's still murder. Even if you played Path of Exile on stream. Good to know that that's the worst I can do with Zep. <laughs> oh. is, pa is Path of Exile such a terrible game, though? I don't know, never played it. Uh, let's see, I need this one, uh, then I need this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Then I need this, and I need this. Let me bring some rifle out now as well. So, draw the line at Metal Gear Survive. <laughs> No, I'm just a hater. It's probably Ford's genre. Wait, isn't uh, Path of Exile a Diablo clone, though? It's not that bad, right? Metal Gear Survive. I would never play that. I have never played any of the Metal Gear games. But uh, Metal Gear Survive is just some kind of Go horror survive. survival uh, shit. And that's... It's not even a game I want to touch. There are way better games out there. Let's just bring three items. Don't know if he needs all of them. Okay, time to go back to Date. I would unsub if you went into Metaverse. Really, Sep? So I get you to automatically. I get you to automatically unsub so I can. Unjoin the affiliate. <laughs> Surprised to hear you have never played one. Uh, well, yeah, like for me, it's not that surprising because uh, by the time that I like got my own money and enough shit to um, be able to play a uh, Metal Gear Solid game. Uh, the series were, like, was well on ahead already, and it just didn't feel like I should be playing one of the games. And not all the others. And since they're pretty... ...widespread on... what do you call it? Uh... Consoles, I just, uh, yeah, just didn't feel like actually getting into it. I'll never stop watching you, but if it gets too sexual, I'll show myself. <laughs> it 
just to have 30 active users. Oh yeah, I heard that. I actually read about that last night, I think. SQ doesn't know what she's missing. I have played a bit of Metal Gear Revengeance though. To which point that I actually found at the point that I was playing it a little bit too hard. I couldn't get like past a specific point and I was like, fuck this game, I'm not even gonna put time into it anymore. No, Zully is not yet in my apartment. Cry. Or you're killing yourself again. And I didn't even kill the crybaby. The cringe is real. But yeah, that's why I've never actually gotten into uh, Metal Gear Solid. Which is honestly quite a shame. Uh. Uh. Latest model, sharp as hell and easy on the skin. Doesn't miss a whisker. What's with you shaving that day? Never mind, just get to it. A man's not a man unless he can pull a clean shave. Whatever you say. Really, I like the silence and home chat. I don't know. I find it nice. Zuli is in the microwave. He's not that small. Waiting to open it. Piss. Let's go. That's good. それより今更だが君。お前なぜ神戸町に？誰か。さらばれた。何？何？偽の手紙で呼び来たそう。神戸町に捕らわれた。誰だ？まだわからない。誰だ？敵は俺を神戸町に呼び寄せ。それともう一つ。このゾンビ騒ぎをこの。ゾンビーズ。これじゃ人為的なものだってのか。このゾンビ騒ぎが。そういうことに。なんてやるんだ。一体どれだけ死んだと思ってやる。ああ。わかった。手
Also, SQ, in case you don't know, double negative is positive. So... I think that's how it works, at least. That means we do like you! Now shut up! When I don't like someone, I'm also always very obvious about it. But apparently I just hang around dumb people because they don't listen to <laughs> the obviousness. <laughs> like, I, liter I literally had like a moment with some people where it was like, Yo, I literally told you that you stink, you suck, you're an ass, and I don't want to hang out with you anymore. <laughs> They were like, why? I just told you. <laughs> Could leave, but she chooses to continue and torture us. Just tells me to go away. Only when you're being an absolute asshole, no, Lizzie. <laughs> Also, SQ doesn't torture us. She's too nice for that. After all, SQ can't be evil, malicious, or chaos. Yeah, for a second I banned you, come on. But you did get me very mad. <laughs> Those were some good times. Me an asshole? I would never! Uh huh. That's what you say all the time. Yeah, guys, stop flexing that you've been banned. It's not that hard to get banned in my chat. Just uh, take me to go play Dark Souls or something, and I'll just have to lose all the time, and then just say one, one wrong word, and you're banned. Sap, you're not an asshole. You have an asshole. You're not a asshole. <laughs> pretend. Well, at least I'm not in Lizzie's bad books for now. It's not that easy to get in Lizzie's bad book. I mean, you can call her SQ and all the other things the entire time and she'd still be happy to keep her in your good book. Uh... <clears throat> Band meat was because I pushed your button on purpose. Yeah! No shit! Oh no, I didn't want to go in alone. <sighs> you know what? I'm going in. I'm going in alone, and we're gonna go uh, talk up some hostesses again because that needs to be done, and it's the worst job in the entire game. Never bend SQ for a second. But you did unfollow me! <laughs> yeah, 
but that doesn't count, Dave. That is not like me manually banning your ass. So many years. Yet so broken my heart every time. This is not a much better path thing either. Fuck. Q is almost back to one year though. because she accidentally unfollowed the, the dummy. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You're not new. I've exhausted myself with all the dumbness that I used. <laughs> Don't worry, Seth, you have the privilege of being the longest subscriber. Oh, shit. I can't believe that I exhausted myself with the weird shit where you were talking about. <sighs> like, whose idea was it for Yordi to be the weirdo tonight? Like, the extreme weirdo. I mean, I brought up uh, the fact that I am insecure about my penis size. This is the third time tonight. <laughs> Jordy's too tired. I'm a dummy. Accident. Oh. I'm one of those. Or sister. Dave, I'm an accident too. But my mom said that I was... <laughs> that I was a happy accident. Twenty-six months, Lizzie. What the fuck, you already? Lol. Wait, what do you mean, what the fuck, you already? That I was a happy accident? I mean, uh, my parents uh, had sex, the condom broke, and my mom instantly knew she was pregnant and decided to keep me. That's, uh, that's why I'm a happy accident. <laughs> Jesus. 
Ooh. Anybody else stream froze? <laughs> Don't know. Everything seems fine on my end. Poor Mia B. So. Sex appeal isn't everything. Yeah. Sex appeal isn't everything. I want to have a normal chat with a girl without the fact that I have want to ride her the entire time. Like... Jeez. Time's up. My birth was not an accident, but my... <laughs> God damn it, SQ. But Lizzie, you have strong Mexican mom. Of course, you would come up, come out right, unlike what the doctor said. I bit my tongue. That's what you get, Jordi, for being a dumbass. <clears throat> Welcome back, Dave. Mom didn't give a fuck. She told him, "Fuck off! You don't know my body. I know my body better than you." Poor Dave cannot watch the stream anymore. Yada yada does he? Kept telling her to put something in her. Don't check how I was in in her what? I'd like to order the goldest of champagnes and the fruitiest of platters. Regardless, I'm having her use a shit. Everyone deserves to have good parents. I'm a pervert! And then here I am, a degenerate. Welcome to the club, Lizzie. <laughs> you can say what you want, Lizzie, but you're pretty much taking care of your family right now with all the cooking and groceries and whatever the fuck you uh, do. 
I think today is one of those days where I've said the most retarded shits I've said in a long, long time. I mean, I'm always spouting about the fact how degenerate I am, but <laughs> today is uh, today is the biggest day I think of the degeneracy. It's been a while. Since we had a day like this, feels good. Glad to hear that. You know what's impressive? Choking on your own breath. Like... <laughs> sometimes. Ugh. You know, for hostess... It's, I find it kind of weird that she's wearing a crown. They're gonna say, you know what? It's impressive the amount of times I touch my chest. <laughs> That's not that impressive. I don't touch my chest that often. I touch my crotch more often than I touch my chest. <laughs> oh my lords. Why are you upset, SQ? <laughs> Dying. <clears throat> of course you are, Lizzie. I can be funny when I uh, try, right? Kiryu san, do I seem childlike? Hmm. Well, maybe you do look a little young for your age. Ah, <sighs> I thought so. Still look like a kid. I want to look more like a sophisticated adult. Get like get rid of the fucking crown. It's a tiara. Every girl deserves to be a princess. Yeah, but that makes you look like. <laughs> you do seem a little more mature now than when I first met you. Okay, we're we're gonna. Skip through the rest of the dialogue again, and we're gonna look at her legs. I'm upset. Dave didn't blame me. You know, SQ... <clears throat> if you're upset, you should tell Dave that... Uh, he didn't blame you, then he'll probably blame you again. Just to make you happy. Try approaching guys yourself! Yeah! That will go great! <laughs> Mixers. <laughs> Think I gained some weight recently. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> Chocolate back in the fridge.
Don't you always blame Dave, though, SQ? <sighs> deep breath. That is not a really good deep breath. That's more like a sniveled breath. Through the nose. I should get some tissues or put toilet paper next to my desk so that I can sneeze. And now the worst part, I have to walk all the way out of the quarantine zone. Can you believe that? Just like me, Kiryu, I also have trouble getting sleep. Uh huh. Lizzie, we had this conversation already. God damn it. <laughs> Do I have to repeat myself again? Pineapple! Man! Who's this red coated guy? Zombies are after him. Ow. You know what? I got a dragon rifle, I'm gonna use it. He's inside, do I go after him? Follow him. Might as well just do a random side quest that we walk into, right? Sometimes I really wish I wasn't so sensitive to textures and such for food. I would probably like pineapple as a fruit. I still wish this game had guns or oh, had swords. <laughs> Full people had to be you who saved me. You are different looking Amum. How many sugars did you already have? Not that many. だが<笑> 
I didn't realize I'd get two partners with Kiryu, other than the hostesses. Oh, here. <laughs> it's a me, Spider Man. Get <laughs> him anytime you need him. Okay, Lizzie, the burger does look kind of good. Except for the salads and the pickles. Whatever else that is vegetables on it. Sugar! Oh, that's nice. I don't have to walk all the way back. Let's see, how many more songs do I owe? Uh, karaoke, karaoke. Where is it? Here. Right, I gotta go all the way back to Jewel. Let's see. Uh, Kiryu with Haruka. Haruka. And we can do Pure Love and Kamarucho with. Okay, then we're gonna... Well, I don't really need to do anything else. With, um... Uh... That sucks. Okay, what would my fastest thing to do be? So don't really have a song with Miyabi. Don't wanna waste time on that. Okay, the anti-material rifle is kinda of fun close range. Isn't it funny to just run up to these people and then... Ooh! Didn't even have to aim. Almost on 30k kills. I'm rolling, rolling down the river, rolling down the
He was a skater boy, she said see ya later boy. One seppy, two seppy, three seppies, four seppies in my dream. Ow. Oh, Kitty, excuse me. Let me just send a quick message here. Sure. Sorry about that, I'm done. Customer. Yes, he came in without requesting any specific hostess, but he seemed really nice, so I was just asking him to come back again sometime. See? You're quite saleswoman, aren't you? That's right. Better enjoy my company while you can, before I rocket into fame and fortune and leave you behind. I <laughs> guess so. <laughs> well, shall we be going? Okay, uh... See, usually I'd say let's go do karaoke, right? But I don't feel like doing karaoke. Let's go... Oh, she probably won't like eating because she was talking about getting fat. Okay, let's shoot some pool. Sounds easy enough. Won't take too long. He was a skater boy, she said see you later boy, he wasn't good enough for her. <clears throat> I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. Oh well, who gives a fucking damn. Oompa Loompa Dee Dee Doo Doo Kazuma Kiryu Ikuze Ikuzo Oh shot nice That's what we like to see Yo. Sugoi Kiryu san! Hmm. Well, that could have gone a lot better. <gasps> no fucking way! She nailed that! <laughs> Bullshit is real! She's cheating! Yatta! <laughs> I suck. Look at her go! So glad that I don't have to do this game till completion. The entire completion list, at least. I've only synced one, she's like syncing everything. Ho 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 girl! What the hell? Shit. See, it's because I've played too much. And I can't do it anymore. One seppi for each of us. Does she actually put effect in those balls or what? Hana! Thank you for the raid! 
Yeah, let's see if I can... Uh... Dang it. Missed Wraith Party! How was the stream? What were you doing? Are you still on Final Fantasy 13? Welcome, welcome everybody! Welcome back, Dave. Uh, you missed nothing. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, you know what? Your knee sucks at this, so let's do it like this. Can I... Maybe, maybe not. F, close enough. Hey, Kel. Hey, Mari. I uh, am doing okay. <laughs> I'm doing okay. I'm a little exhausted, so if you hear any weird things from me, uh, just uh, know that that is my uh, pure self. So, uh, this is what you get. <laughs> oh, no. I'm having a very bad time aiming as well. But yeah, I've been resting up for like an entire week already, uh, hell, but, um, hmm. It's not enough. Shit. My opponent actually nuked it. Miss Jordi, you suck and lose to a girl. I was about to say, you're kind of scaring me, uh, opponent. But uh, yeah, I've had a little bit uh, too hard work uh, last Friday, and it's kicking my ass still. Yay! So, Anna, how is uh, how is Final Fantasy XIII? Is it still having fun? Is uh, Lightning uh, being less of a bitch yet, or... Uh, I just gave the ball away. <sighs> Basically, Yordi is drunk on Yordi. Y yeah. You could technically say that uh, Yordi is just uh, being drunk of... Um, the little bit of autism energy he has left. Nice, I actually win. We had nice character development all around. Nice, good. That's what we like to hear. Good character development. Uh, it's the Bank for Prizes contest. I haven't heard that one before. What is that, Bank of Prizes? Right at the end, though, while I was trying to find a good place to end. I, I mean, that must have been a very good uh, place to end, right? Okay, so we uh, stuffed cats on the green. French wallets and pink panther pose. I fucking know what a panther pose is. Let's see if we can get the panther pose. Nailed it. A, a panther pose? Uh, how embarrassing! Oh well, if it's for you, Kiryu son, I guess it's worth it. Okay, okay, guys, guys, I'm sorry. Dirty, not safe for work. Did not anticipate this. Okay, now we know what a panther pose is, guys. It's okay to blink, you know? Gordy, what is Giggity? You need to watch Family Guy for that. I love how dramatic Squirks games are, especially Final Fantasy. Gordy, did you accidentally seduce that poor girl? Listen, I need to seduce every single hostess in the game, right? And every character has at least two hostesses, so I need to cheat on one of them. So, don't blame me! <laughs> well, now we know what the panther pose is, and we'll never go and try and get it again. <laughs> oh. 
cute outfit, I guess. The stream title did not match that at all. No, yeah, true. Don't worry, after we go talk to her again and say nice things to her, we have to walk all the way through the zombie-infested streets. <laughs> this is, like... Literally, this is the worst part to complete in every Yakuza game. Because I have to flirt up every single hostess the entire time. I don't like that. Especially since they, at the end, always tell me they love me, and that means that I need to go to another girl. And... And it's not good for my heart. <laughs> that was not a phone, by the way. That was, uh... A device which controls a satellite laser. <laughs> Showing crawler. Mr. Kiryu, thank you for taking me out. I had so much fun. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm, uh, so I so dislike this that I am actually skipping through all of the dialogue here. Purely so that I can just get through it quickly. I really just don't like any any of this. <clears throat> like each of the hostesses do have like their different personalities and such, but it just takes so much time. I've done it for Yakuza 3 and Yakuza 4 and was just uh... <laughs> Should I? I guess not. No, no. There's no point in me giving them things, because before we reach the end of this entire sequence, I can no longer fill her hearts up again. So we just need to waste as little time and get through it. We don't even have titbits. Oh, we actually have the Ito fish legends, but that she likes that. No, yeah, she doesn't. Yaddy yaddy does it. Bottom option, maybe I'll order champagne today too. We've already ordered golden champagne. It cost me fucking 3,000 yen. Oh no, not yen. Because 300,000 yen. Uh, look at her mouth or chest. I guess we're going for the boobies. Mistress Princess. So far, this is the worst game to do this in, though. Like, um, the first two characters weren't so bad because you didn't have to, like, exit the entire quarantine zone first. Quitting, cooperate your job. But with the last two characters, you had to walk all the way from, like, somewhere at the end of the quarantine zone to the start of the quarantine zone to continue this super no- Uh-oh, oops. Oh, thank god I did the right one. Leave. It's such a joy, Kelly. It's such a joy. Thank you for today! <clears throat> Lady Pliss! Rival. Sounds like a good friend. But look, this is laser satellite thingy. If we see zombies. There, see the skater boy over there. Laser! Yeah, player can get the girls. 
good for all these lonely uh, players, right? Practicing how to flirt with real ladies. Thankfully, though, we're already, like, very close to the end of the game. Which really saves me because I don't have to do many more hostesses. It's just this girl and then one more girl. And then it's side quest heaven for a bit and then we can continue the main story. Listen, zombies, you're not supposed to be able to throw fucking Molotovs at me. So stop. <laughs> but yeah, every single time that I play a Yakuza game and I have to do these hostess things, you'll hear me complain about it. It's like, unfucking believable. Leave. It reminds me of Okami. The little travel buddy is also sexist as one can be. <laughs> so annoying. Now, the characters in this game are usually really mature. It's just that the side quests deliver excellent things when it comes to uh, degeneracy and total anime stuff. It's just kind of a shame that you're forced. Well, you can do New Game Plus, technically. But you're kind of forced to, like, uh, go from girl to girl <laughs> due to uh, game design. It's not like it's actually... Uh, I don't know. Said by the characters. <laughs> <laughs> John Snow? Dave, am I supposed to know that? I never watched Game of Thrones. I just know the memes. That's more than I know, Kel. I actually missed my laser, sad face. I missed my laser twice. Go down already. La da 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 Snow knows nothing, it's a fairly simple concept. <laughs> I mean, uh... <laughs> I bet it is. Look 
Look at all the fucking skater boys. They aren't actually called skater boys, they're called monkey boys. Because they fast and move like monkeys. Okay, last date on this girl. Mr. Senba. What, you going out? Yes, I'm sorry. Nefria came all this way to see me. I had to boot zombies out of my way. Out of my way all the way here. But that's alright. I'll come back another time. One of your regulars? Yes, he's been requesting me a lot lately. Goth is so sexist. Who? I'm sorry. Enough about all that. Shall we go? Yeah. Okay, let's go for an easy one, which is fast. Uh, grab something to eat. I bet she likes sushi. How very grown up! Walks around with a tiara. And is annoyed that people don't uh, think she's uh, adult enough. Or has sex appeal. That's her entire character. Oh, and she's also desperate to get a, go a boyfriend? A boyfriend, sure. A boyfriend. I have English today. Of course! <laughs> I mean, there are some better characters between the hostesses. But they, uh... We had a, like, a, a princess-type hostess that only wanted to be, like, uh, kind of treated normally, slash a little bit harshly, because everyone was, like, just simping for her. So she was like, oh, yeah, sure, it's fine. And then when someone is, like, was, like, that stood up against her, like, ah! Uh, she was like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, th that's the kind of characters you can run into in Yakuza games. Like, the characters are fun, but they're just over the top, I guess. Yeah, but let's be real. You're playing as one of the strongest Yakuza characters that beats everyone else up, right? And there are these over-the-top kind of scenarios. It's, it's why you like it. It's completely anime. Ah, boo! Well, I'll be fine. She'll get the 20 points. Next, uh, visit. But it's completely anime. <laughs> it's fucking great. It's just, even though it's great, there are, like, some moments where the game just goes a little bit in decline. Like, it has a completely open world and fun and a lot of things to do, but then there are the minigames. Then there are the stupid hostesses. <laughs> and then it goes up again, and then it goes down, and it goes up. But yeah, as much as I like can complain about a lot of things in this game, I do love it. It's like completely my thing. Fits perfectly. What would you like to order? Gold champagne, 300k down the drain. They even make that their favorite drink so fucking expensive every time. Why? It's a good series of games, though. It's just so large, and I'm kind of a dumbass for wanting to complete every single game for Platinum Trophy. Because otherwise I would play them more often, but the next Yakuza game is gonna take a long time for me to actually complete. So I'm... Literally, uh, 
gonna put some time between five and this one. Uh. <laughs> uh. Hey. Uh. Strength isn't the only measure of a man. <laughs> English is my second language. Dave lets it slide for me because he's a nice person. Uh, dating regular. It's not a good idea. You should keep the relationship professional. Really? Why? Because if you date a customer on your private time, he's not going to want to pay him money to come to the club anymore, right? Oh, that's a good point. It is. I leave for one minute and I miss something. Nah, ask you, you don't miss anything. Okay, please. Yeah, we can leave. Okay, time to do the side mission for her. I hope you come back again. We got the fancy business card. He speaks better English than most Americans. I mean, we get taught English, okay? And not American. Kiryu son, I really like you. Cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, I should probably uh, tell you guys in advance that after this uh, side mission of hers, she is like, uh, we're going to a hotel and we're gonna be talking. Mm-hmm. Talking. Just like with the other hostess that we're gonna be taking to the hotel at the end of the quest, talk. There will no will be no talking. In case you didn't realize, <laughs> it's gonna be sassy time. Not gonna see anything, but yeah, that's after that the relationship starts, and after that I officially become a cheater. Oops, that one doesn't work. But who cares? We're already done. Only then? Yeah! <laughs> Amazing, right, Kel? <laughs> okay, I'll close my eyes. You don't have to. You don't see anything. The, the, the penter pose we saw just a bit ago is the dirtiest thing you'll see. I already didn't understand relationships, but now... <laughs> Kelly, I don't I don't understand talking anymore. Apparently everything is wrong these days. Oh, this game. Ow. But the talking part only is because I hang around on Twitter too much. Twitter is like the biggest toxicity fest of the entire planet. Also, Dave, I didn't used to hate England. I just hate pretty much almost every country that is a country of dumbasses. That's why I said, the Netherlands is just a little bit better. But dumbasses are everywhere. Let humans rule and they will just make a complete... Yordi. <laughs> yes. No, no. The planet is nice. It's just the countries and the people that live on it. You know, if we wouldn't be here, the planet would be a very nice place.
Agree. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't have Twitter. Honestly, why did we shoot the meteor away from us? It was meant to be! I mean, it probably wouldn't destroy our entire planet and kill everyone. But, uh, you know, maybe. Dying like the dinosaurs sounds good. I know, right? <laughs> I bet it would be over in an instant. Uh, okay, I need to walk around town for a little bit. That's why I don't have Twitter. Yeah, you're right, but uh, Dave. But for social media stuff, as a streamer and an artist, Twitter is probably this. Yeah, probably the best place to like be on social media. Instead of uh, Facebook, and Instagram is just pure pictures, which is also not that great. But for artists, being it's okay. So I sadly uh, kind of have to defo where I look at all the pretty arts. Yeah. And all the horny... Uh, I mean, what? <laughs> I actually decided recently to make a Not Safe For Work uh, Twitter purely so that I can like all the Not Safe For Work arts that I like. And not have to um, harass all, my, uh, all the people that follow me <laughs> with the Safe Of Work art. Like, I don't mind that people know that I like Not Safe For Work art, but I kind of mind them being annoyed by getting to see my Not Safe For Work likeage. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Kiryu. I'm going on a date with Mr. Senba now. I see you. Well, watch out for the zombies. I will. I'll talk to you later then. Date in the quarantine zone, huh? But that Senba seems like a pretty capable guy. I'm sure Miyabi will be alright. Let's hope so. Too many side quests. That's why I have Instagram and Facebook. And that's bad enough. Yeah, Facebook is kind of chill, but sometimes you get like this depressing news and everything on it. But other than that, Facebook is probably the chillest place for actual typing, that is. Instagram is just the chillest for arts and funny things. Cat pictures and dog videos and whatever. Oh, okay, Kiryu, we got attacked by zombies. What? Are you alright? Yes, we managed to fight them off somehow, but Mr. Senba got hurt. Did he get bitten? No, but his leg got injured, so he can't walk. Okay, got it. I'll come get you. Do you know where you are? We're in a vacant lot on the southern end of the Champion District. Alright, I'll be there soon. Just hang tight! I haven't been on Facebook in a very long time. I mean, Kel, you're not missing anything on Facebook. <laughs> Stop looking at horn animals. Please. No. I like my not safe for work stuff. I recently have been thinking of drawing my first not safe for work comic. With random bullshit in it. But I've been having anxiety attacks about drawing, so I haven't really... Uh, actually tried to get into that. <laughs> yeah, I don't really miss it. <laughs> to be fair, Facebook feels more like the family social media, right? Where you keep up with everyone's birthdays and all that kind of stuff. And then Twitter is your social media for like... Uh, all the toxicity and trying to hype yourself up, and then Instagram is for the pretty pictures and videos. And then you have TikTok, but we don't talk about TikTok, because that TikTok is a scary place. I'm too old for TikTok.
Dave, I, I know that my drawing is good, but especially since last Friday, where I just hit, like, the massive exhaustion point, I uh, have been having a little bit of issue with... Uh, not getting anx anxious about things for no reason. But with that being said, I did decide to actually go and practice uh, diverse poses every single day now for drawing. I'm like posts. I'm like uh, putting them once a day on Instagram as well. Right? I'm really working hard on them, and I've been surprised. Uh, except for yesterday's, I realized after posing that that one arm was really off. Posting was really off, but... Uh, I've been having fun with it, and I'm actually kind of surprised that they're looking kind of decent. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Time me out for 10 hours. No, we're not gonna time you out for 10 hours, SQ. Bad. TikTok is just the mod of Davis institution. No, no. This is... <laughs> TikTok is the place where you make mental... Uh, mental... Uh, 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 mental patience. Yes. That's the word that I'm looking for. Like, the entire pink sauce trend, and the... Uh... Yibby, are you alright? Okay to you, son. I'm alright. Senba's son's been looking out for me. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Damn it. It must be a sorry side. Try to take it easy. You really hung in there. Thank you for Miyabi's sake. <laughs> it's gonna show Miyabi I was tougher than you. But I only end up putting her in harm's way. These zombies all over the place, I figure taking them out would be the best way to win in her heart. That's why I decided to try and show Miyabi how tough I was instead of sinking money into the club. Thought I could steal her from you. Gee, he sent us on. But this makes it all clear. I don't have any rights to Miyabi. Thrown in the towel. You're okay with that? Yeah, just promise me one thing. Promise me you'll keep her safe. I will, I promise. <laughs> I'll be honest though, I don't like. I'm autistic as fuck, right? So. Hypes and trends and everything I don't I don't understand. Give me good reasons to understand hype, then I might understand it. But all I can see right now is like, hmm. Don't know. Ask someone from the club to take care of Sambasan. His injury wasn't as bad as we thought, so it looks like he'll be okay. Are you alright? That was pretty scary and that was a pretty scary end to what was supposed to be a fun day. I'm fine. And it wasn't quite as scary as it could have been, with Samasan looking out for me. But when we really got in trouble, you came running. You were so cool. I'm just glad that I made it in time. And then when two men who were fighting over me acknowledged each other's strength and shook hands. Oh, it was just like a romance manga. <laughs> even realize how much danger you were really in. <laughs> And now to the victor, I award the prize. <laughs> e Slow down a minute, you're not really taking Semba's whole contest thing to heart, are you? Maybe, maybe not, but in any case, I can't hold my feelings back anymore. Want to be your girl! Aha! You, uh, you finally learned to speak your mind. You've really grown up. And that's all thanks to you. Never would have gained that kind of confidence just working at the hostess club. Well... You know I feel the same way about- Oh, no, here you don't say that because we're gonna be cheating on her! Now let's go have a date right now. Pink. Screen. Disappearing into the hotel district. Ending on the same pose. Are you going to continue fighting the zombies? Mm? Yeah. What, are you worried about me or something? No, I have faith in you. Now come back to see me again, won't you? No! Of course, no, don't like you, you. We're not gonna see her again. Uh-oh, oh no, now I've done it. 
What's the matter in manga and anime when the characters make that kind of promise they usually never see justice? <laughs> I'm not some manga character. No, you're a game character, Kiryu. That's way, way, way worse. I'll survive, and I'll definitely be back to see you. Right. Of course. I know you will. After all, you're incredibly strong and capable. That's why I love you. As someone who also might be welcome to the club. <laughs> My friend turns around and says he thinks I'm on the spectrum, and I'm not sure how to process that information. Well, uh, I'd say uh, go look at the information out there, then uh, see if anyone is uh, willing to actually test you and uh, be happy you are, because people with autism are great. And sure, Kelly, because if there were more people with autism in the world, the world would be less shit. But sadly, the majority of people are shitheads. <laughs> I just thought I didn't like people. <laughs> Oh, oops. Ow. You know what? Oh, crap. Reload. Wrong gun. I'm getting punched in the face. Or meat. Rather. Okay. Actually, on a waiting list to get tested. Damn, kill. I mean, my mom was like, uh, pretty much since I was very young, already knew that I had like something. But because my mom was single during that time, they didn't take her seriously. After my mom and my stepdad married, uh, they got me tested. And then around my 11th or 12th, they uh, already were like, uh, yeah, he has autism. Great. But due to that, I've learned so so fucking much. Even though it was the biggest struggle of my life. Dave's also on the waiting list. Like, honestly, being on the spectrum and knowing that you're on the spectrum is just... For a lot of people, is very chill. It was... I was only 12, right, when I learned, and I literally... <laughs> the literal brain thoughts that I had were like, What? I'm different than people? Fuck no! So, like, most of my childhood has been, like, trying to figure out how to... How they call that mask, right? Trying to not be autistic. <clears throat> but due to that, I've like, uh, I've learned so much because you can't just try and be a normal person. To be, to try and be a normal person, you really gotta go and figure out like, how does it work? Why does it work? So that you can, in the end, like, respond in the correct, correct way. And now I'm 29. And I'm fully accepted myself as the king that I am. Okay, on to the next girl. Thank Jesus we don't have to walk that far for her. My therapist also mentioned that autism in can be very different and sent me a link about it and oh my god it's like oh oh that explains a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That does explain a lot. It's still funny though, because there are still like, people still don't really understand what autism is like. 
And there are still plenty of people that are like... In therapists included, right? And supportive people that are like very down talkative, like people with autism have a lower IQ. There are people with autism that have lower IQ, but they some of these people tend to be like, oh, they're all low IQ, blah, blah, blah. Everything is scary. Extreme example, but I hate those kind of people. I can't stand it. <laughs> I felt stupid all my life, and now it'll be like, either I am stupid, or my brain just works differently. Let's just take the, that as a fact, that your brain works differently. <laughs> Condescending. Thank you, Dave. But, let me let me actually change that a little bit, because condescending is like... Uh, actual... Uh... I'd like to ch change that into talking as if I'm a kid and I don't understand how the world works. They do not like do it because they want to make you feel bad. It's more like uh, they don't understand how you work. So they think that if I do it like this, it, the understanding comes Uh, it's easier for you to understand, right? Because uh, having I've had autism, everyone that has autism get and knows that they have autism at any point in their life knows that they have autism. Whether they are 40 and they learn that they have autism, they will always have had autism. So let's get that straight. Uh, the earlier you know that you have autism, the easier it is to learn how your feelings work, how your brain works, how your energy levels work, how uh, your senses work. Uh, what else is there? Like, for example, with me, I can I love food, right? If I get that sensation of good tasting food in my mouth, I can like, feels great. But as soon as we eat, like, certain vegetables, or I eat certain vegetables with specific tastes or textures, I would instantly throw up or get that intention, right? I've learned to hold it back, but I still can get that intention to need to throw up. It is not because we don't just dislike it, it's purely because we can't stand the the texture, the feel, the taste, it just triggers, like, a bad sensation in our brain that's, like... <laughs> there are... Uh, uh, my best friend, Womave's uh, brother is also autism, and Womave has autism, but Womave's brother, for example, cannot stand being touched. He actually, if he... if he, someone would do like this over his arm, he would probably feel something like pain. That, that is like another example of how people with autism could have their brains wired uh, incorrectly, quotation marks, right? Because technically it's harmful that you feel pain if someone touches you, for example, but it's still quotation marks. <laughs> But those are like all kind of examples what you as a person with autism need to like keep in your mind and say, oh, that's enough. I have autism, sorry. Due to my autism, I cannot handle that, for example. I like with, I like that with olives or beetroot. Yeah. Yeah, for, my, it's, for me, it's more extreme because I have a lot of vegetables and tastes that I just can't stand. Next time I visit you, we should talk more about... Kelly, when is the next... <laughs> but yes, Kel, we should really... And... <laughs> this... This is something that I'm actually gonna, like, 
throw at you right now. If you are indeed autistic, there's just a high chance. There's there's just a high chance you do not like hanging out with people as much as uh, it, it you might make it sound to yourself, right? I can I can like with Womave and some other people that I know I can be like I don't speak to them for a month and then we just continue where we left off, right? I do the same thing technically with you because we do not speak that often and every once in a while I drop into someone's stream that you watch or the other way around and we can just chill and hang out. But like actually <laughs> figuring out to go outside and chill with someone somewhere else is like, uh, what if we get birds we don't have anything to do? <laughs> Right. Those are like all kinds of thoughts to why I would personally sometimes rather not go to someone and hang out with someone. Sweet corn is hell food. I don't even know what sweet corn is. You're just asking me like, Nani? I'd love to go to Amsterdam. I don't know what Amsterdam is, but Amsterdam is a not really a great place. <laughs> I've been there once in my life. I live in the Netherlands and I've only been to Amsterdam once in my life and I do not like want to go back again. <laughs> I, I mean, Kel, it could be both. Like anxieties come from a specific version of uh, why you feel things uh, the way you do because of autism. It's not because you're anxious. <laughs> Right? <clears throat> I've been to Amsterdam many times just for work and had to leave the same day I arrived, so I never got to see anything. Mm, I mean, the city... Okay, this is like me autistically speaking again. I can't really... I don't like the way cities are built in the Netherlands. The cities in the Netherlands are just like... Uh, I've lived there my entire life and everything looks the same and it's just like, I don't see the appeal of it. No, no, no. Dave, you didn't listen to me. It's not as bad as America. <laughs> it's not as bad as America. <laughs> it's bad, but it's not as bad. I, I've... Uh, I would go to art museums. There's like, uh, what's that place called again with all the wax dolls in Amsterdam? That's a fun place. I personally can't go to the Efteling anymore. I just don't like amusement parks. It's too busy, too much sounds, and I really don't like going into attractions that much either. I like cities full stop. People trying to do. Yeah. It, you know, crimes don't happen, well, I don't feel like crimes happen as often in the Netherlands as you might think, but... Madame Tussauds, the London one is bad. I know that the one in the Netherlands is not that bad. I've went once and it was okay for me, but, you know, I don't really have that interest in it. Maduro Dom. I didn't I like literally live at the edge of that place once. Yeah, I fucking lived there like five minutes away before Maduro Dom. I never went. It's like I don't really feel like going to to South again. Makes sense. Food time for me. We'll see you all later. Anna, enjoy your food. I hope you enjoy it and it tastes good. <clears throat> Yuria! Twin Tails! Yay! Kanpai! 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 
you. Let's go with Uncle Cass. <laughs> Never been, but also don't want to go to two cells. <laughs> At this point in my life, I realize that either it sucks <laughs> or it doesn't suck if I go somewhere, right? So I decided that if someone says, let's go try something or let's go somewhere, I'll just probably follow along and see if I like it or not. And if I don't like it, we'll. I won't go back. And if I do like it, well then, uh, Great. I still want to go to Japan one time. To be a weed for a day, and the other days to get into the sights and... Explore the culture a little bit. But that's because I am a big-ass weeaboo. I wouldn't recommend London <laughs> for like one time visit. Edinburgh, <laughs> however. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh... Lom like, London is also a place that doesn't sound like a place where I'd want to go. Las Vegas, though, that is a place that I would just once want to go for like maybe two hours and set in the sights and then get completely killed by all the. Stimuli, stimuli there, and then be in bed for an entire week and come back. Does Hannah actually live in London, Kel? I didn't ask that. No, but close by. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. See, I know Kel. I remember things that she tells me. Gasp. Like, I'm really bad at remembering names, but little facts and things people tell me about themselves, I do remember. <laughs> but that's because I do enjoy those kind of things more than, like, well, a name is just a name, you know? Want to know what I remember about Yordi? That he is uh, very uh, subconscious about his penis size. We've talked about that today already, like, four times. <laughs> oh man, now i gone and did it again. Didn't remember. Yeah, you remember quite a bit, honestly. Yeah, but it's like... A name is so hard to remember for me because there's not really an image with it. The harder it is for me to remember a person or a face, it also becomes a lot harder for me to remember that name. But if I have like an image with it, if someone tells me a story and I can like imagine something with it, it's way easier for me to remember. <laughs> God, why did I bring that up again? Like, I keep saying... Insanely tired today, and I just keep throwing all of the random shit in there. I always no, I don't always sexy dance for the fridge. I do dance the sexy dance a lot for the fridge though. I remember when I said I needed to do the sexy dance for the fridge to give me milk, but that uh, piece of lore uh, went away really quickly <laughs> because I was too lazy to do it every time. <laughs> Uh, she likes... Wow, she's exactly the same as the last girl. Gold champ... Oh, no, 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 no! Now she's gonna hate me. Oh, God, you're, you suck. Well... Osaka! Oops. This actually, this is actually kind of annoying because now it probably means that I'll have to go for an extra 
Instead of just having to go in and out four times, I probably have to go in and out five times. It's really bad. Um, post this work. You didn't sing Baka Me Tight to her. Dummy, 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 yo, dummy, dummy, yo. <laughs> Dave, I'll tell you a secret. I never tell lies. And if I do lie, it's only for a second and I'll change it. I'll instantly say something like, I'm just kidding. Because I, I can't stand lying. Like, I lied. This is actually, this is a funny story, actually. I learned not to lie through my mom. <laughs> and it's funny because uh, she always told us, like, if you lie to me about something, I will always find out. Ways. Now, I was never a very good liar. You know, so it's not like I can actually do a good lie. I can, and it's not like I can sit here and I'm talking to someone and I actually tell them a good lie and they think it's real. I can't do that. But uh, <laughs> I've learned like through the years that every single time that I told a lie, my mom would always find out. It was literally the one thing she'd tell us and she would always find out. I don't know how she did it, but she would always find out. At some point, right, if I told a lie, she would get mad at me. But if I told the truth, if I did something bad, she would still get mad at me, but it wouldn't be as bad. So my brain got wired into that loop, like, um, into that loop that if I just do not lie, right, if I do not tell the lie, the worst thing that can happen is that someone just gets mad at me, and the best thing that can happen is that they'll probably forgive you, like, a few seconds later. So, <laughs> like, I'd rather have you just tell me the truth that you fucked up, or uh, actually think I'm a dick. And I'm like, ah. Because that's how I'll respond the same way. It also taught me that I will probably not do the stupid things that uh, <laughs> any other person will start lying about, right? I won't be like, uh, I, I won't be cheating on someone if I would be in a relationship or I won't steal something for someone. Those are just not the things that I probably do because one, I would need to tell the truth that I did it, right? That I've been that dumbass, which sucks. And two, you're only hurting a person with it. There's no like, what's the point? So yeah, that's how I uh, decide to never lie. You want to know who won't find out? The people on the internet. Yes. But i rather be known on the internet as a big dumbass that uh, says weird ass shit but always tells the truth than um, a normal person. Like, every single th we always say this in the chat, right? If you're a weird- if you're a weirdo, a dumbass, a crazy person, you're welcome in this chat. As a normal person, you're welcome as well, but you probably won't have as much fun as we have. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> um... I mean, when I look at what I probably perceive as normal, I just don't want to be that. Yeah, and, like, seriously, same. Especially, like, especially when I now think back to my uh, time as a kid in school, where all I was trying to be is, like, normal and fit in or whatever, and I'm like, why? Why did I ever want to be that? Why did I ever want that? Because <clears throat> if someone... Cause if I had accepted that being strange was great, and uh, people were gonna bully me for dumbass shit, 
and I would just accept the dumbass shit and then stomp on that guy's face because he's a dumbass, right? There was like... They probably wouldn't bully me anymore because there probably wouldn't be any fun for me. <laughs> but that's like growing up, right? Once you become an adult, especially like if you've been bullied, if you've been the outcast, if you've been the weirdo. You just start realizing like, why? <laughs> Why do we put so much effort in? Like, people get bored very easily. Kids get bored very easily. And if you, like, don't care, they won't care either. There was, there's so much time and energy that I could have just put into, like, something useful during that time that I tried to, like, be friends with everybody. Like, I... <laughs> I didn't need to work hard to learn things, right? I had to sit in the class and pay attention a little bit because I can pay attention and do whatever the fuck I want at the same time. Uh, and I still score, like, relatively good on tests and whatever. And all the other energy that I had left was just put into, like, uh, I want people to like me. Just doesn't really make sense. If I had used that energy for something different, I could have used that like in the future. In the now time. I tried so hard to be liked by my bullies. How dumb was that? It's literally just being a kid. Like you want to fit in, you want to have friends, etc, etc. I was just a lazy school nerd. A lazy school nerd. Zillar, you can't be lazy and a nerd at the same time. I went with no one likes me, so why even bother? It does make sense though, Zillar. Like, why even bother? And to be fair, it's not like, I don't really agree with there's always, like, people that do like someone, because there are always the people that are outside of the regular boundaries, right? Of the normal people. Hi. I bet you're popular with the ladies, huh? It was way smaller groups than others. Yeah, but... If you guys could, like, uh, you don't need big groups. Small friends. This is all you really need, honestly. <laughs> so... <clears throat> I was popular with the bullies. <laughs> Be hella popular over here in little flow flows. Truth. <laughs> Hell no! Nah. Liar, liar, pencil, fire, Kelly. You want to hear something funny? Uh, like the time that I went to school i was never actually really unpopular you smell that you already no i uh, used deodorant today <laughs> i was never really unpopular it, ele during elementary school it was kind of a pain because my friends or my classmates were all Pretty much a bunch of dumbasses just like me. So we had fights in between, and that was pretty much it. At the end, after that, I only like speak to like one or two. No, the only person that I actually still speak to of uh, elementary school is my best friend from then, who was also insanely different because uh, they were like his parents just were way better off. 
and way more strict, I should say. So he got... He's the kind of guy that would have, like, his hair done nice in a... a nicely dressed and such. That kind of stuff. That was my best friend back then. <laughs> uh, but there was always, like, this mix, match, bad, good. Sometimes uh, you were friends with that side and then with that side. And that, that was, like, really funny kind of thing. Then I went to my first middle school. And there I ended up with... Yeah, I started uh, first with the weirdos, sort of. You would call that weirdos. Uh. Yeah. Uh, which was even worse, because at some point, they got bullied out of my entire class that I just had to leave school because I did a stupid uh, thing because I didn't realize this was something that you shouldn't be doing. Uh... <laughs> Because that's something I used to do with, like, a friend, uh, Dave. I have a small group of close friends, that's all that I really gel with. I'm gonna head, dudes. Have fun. Dave, talk to you later. Have a great rest of your evening. Uh, what else was I gonna say? And then I went to my second middle school, right? And... Uh, we were, like, in the highest class. The school wasn't that big. Right? They only had, like, uh, MBO. And that... Not MBO. Theoretis, blah, blah, blah. It was just a small school with lower intelligence shit. And the group that I, uh, like, the class that I came into was, like, the biggest class and the class with the smartest Fembiote, yeah, with the smartest people in the class then, I guess. And they all were kind of, like, unique people. The lower you got those classes, right, the lower the classes, the more you start to recognize, like, oh, these people are, like, the bully people. And the, the, <laughs> the cool people, right? And once you had, like, my class, it was, like, the normal class. And for some reason, in that class itself, we had, like, we were, we were all just kind of tight with each other. There weren't, there wasn't really any bullying. There wasn't really any nastiness and whatever there were a few nasty people in that class uh one that would just mask himself out uh, he was actually a thief i brought him home once and i went to the bathroom and he like stole my entire collection of game boy advance games uh, and i i hadn't even realized until like a week later he comes to class during a, a test week and he would, like, sit there with his own Game Boy Advance and with all the games that I lost, and I was like... And he would never tell me. And we went to, like, a, 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 a grocery store one time, and he would, like, just walk into an aisle, and you would, you would look at him 24-7, right? And he would just make a bag of chips disappear like it was nothing. But so there were, like, a few people in there. Other than that, uh, the first few years were pretty great, and we were all kind of tight. We had this very uh, big guy. He was not, like, actually big, large, or fat. He was just very muscul muscular, and uh, his parents were very rich. And that guy was just very chill, and because I don't really give a shit about, like, what people do or if they have money or whatever. I could just hang out with him a lot, and he was like insanely strong. We would <laughs> during fucking uh, breaks. We would like uh, a small group of us guys. He was like, "Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, not sparring, but a bit of backyard fighting, right?" And we would jump all at him, and he would just walk 
with like four of us guys on his body and he would like, ha, 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 you can't stop me. It, it was, it was like, I had fun times there, but I just, I'm just not good with going to school. And at some point, as I got older uh, and uh, we, I needed to go to school more often and everyone changed. Like in the second year, uh, someone left and someone new came in. Uh, I already had like uh, horrible hormones that would like make me uh, think I fell in love with a girl. So that's all kind of bullshit that comes that way as well. And all other kind of reasons. But uh, after the second year, like the entire group dynamic that we had just kind of fell apart and broke. And after that, in the third year, it just went downhill from that. Like, the, the school itself was also like, uh, yo, you already can no longer stay at home for like two weeks to like recover and catch up on schoolwork because I couldn't go to school. And this was just, if I had to go to school, it would take a shit ton of energy and I'd just get tired. And after a while, I'd be just completely destroyed and I'd have to stay in bed for like a week to recover and then I catch up on everything, right? But at some point we had like to change classes a lot, which was different for me. And uh, we had to share classrooms with like one of the lower uh, groups. And it just ended up becoming a lot weirder than it used to be. And that's at some point I was like, uh, well, obviously, I was depressed at that point as well. I was like, people don't like me there. And yet, even though I thought that, people were like, yo, where are you? And asking about me why I'm not coming to school anymore at some point. It, it was like a different kind of thing. And it's always been kind of like that. I was very good at, like, talking with people and just being normal. And... I never really had, there was, sure there was bullying here and there, and, well, yeah, if I did the stupid things, then sometimes I uh, get bullied from places to new places. Uh, but it just never was, like, I never really was bullied, right? Who redeemed, no, you're already better. That, uh, I, I it kind of got redeemed due to us talking about the fact that uh, bully school, young people, etc. And I felt like I should probably do a little bit of a chat and explain how my younger me was. I, I took way too much on myself. People didn't dislike me. And I didn't get bullied as much as you could probably expect. I just took too much onto my, like, small hats of things that I can carry. And I ended up uh, paying the price for that. So yeah. That was, uh, that's my story. Woohoo! <clears throat> Less getting bullied is good. Yeah. Coughs in 15 years. <laughs> I can't stand. I, joking, joking, not about me. <laughs> Kelly, I really, I really can't stand people that bully. I can't. Like, if I at any time would have like seen bullying, especially nowadays, I would like just step in. Cause I can't stand it. I really hate it. I meant the stream. Kelly, we can we can make the stream about you if you want to. I just need to flirt with this girl the entire time anyway. <laughs> but you're right. Bullies are annoying and it's just shit. And honestly, I was lucky that I 
was as smart as that I was, but it was also kind of the reason why I ended up becoming depressed. Kochi, one of the children I look after, he just sent me a message from his mom's phone. He said, when I grow up, I am going to marry you. Aw. How about the fact that you bully me almost every day? But SQ, that's a, that's a back and forward, because you always bully me as well. We bully each other. And I don't really, really bully you, because... I would not want you to feel bad, like, really. I don't like that. It's more like teasing. We're teasing each other. And just being a little bit mean sometimes. You step on my heart, I have to do that back to you because I need to show dominance and something like that. <laughs> like it's not it's not like actual cuz if I really you SQ, you tell me, right, if I'd really, like, hurt you <laughs> if I said something bad. Because I don't mean to, like, actually hurt you. Right, SQ? Right? Right? <laughs> Gotta focus on this, by the way. This is gonna be annoying. Summer memories, lively interjection. I hope this song isn't too rough. Gotta show off some skills. How much better I've gotten in uh, rhythm games. Oh. I say that and I miss like the first fucking button thing. It's like absolutely... Dumbass. I say it every time we play karaoke on Yakuza, I still want to do a uh, karaoke thing like this. Jesus, Jordi! I was trying to talk, but the game suddenly went fast and a lot of button inputs. Woo! Sweating. Okay, that was kind of unexpected and... Uh, <laughs> I like... Holy shit, I need to focus! <laughs> Okay, we at least got the 900. Uh, what was I saying again? Yeah, I want to still do a karaoke like this with some guys, some girls. Just go to some, not like a karaoke bar, because I've been to a karaoke bar and that's just not fun because you're like sharing karaoke with a shit ton of random people that you don't know. But karaoke like this is fun, where you're just with a little group of people you know and you can just be fun and stuff. Karaoke is Japanese for empty orchestra. Karaoke scares me. Yeah, but that that's only because you'll probably be with people... You should only be scared of it if you're, like, with people you don't know. Like, which was the thing for me why I didn't like a karaoke bar. But this is what people you know, right? And you can just hang out and just put an anime song on, weave together, or sing a fun song that you know. Play some big time rush and be like, a little higher. Like, that's the kind of thing that I want to do with karaoke. 
Karaoke is Japanese for empty orchestra. Stiller told me a new fact. I didn't know that. Anime theme songs do not come. Um, I will be very disappointed. I mean, I don't even know like how many songs there would be on a fucking karaoke machine, right? I haven't been to a con in like fucking since the start of Corona. suddenly fast. <laughs> Mispressing. Panic attack. Panic attack. I'm sorry. It. Yeah! You are my friend, but I like being able to cosplay without feeling embarrassed or like shit. That's great, right? With the anime cons. I'm surprised that people are so chill during all of those. Like, I. It should kind of expect because weebs and everything, but in the Netherlands it's kind of chill when it comes to like people and when people cosplay, they're not often very judgmental. Go to anime cons, I go to retro game cons or con. You do you, Kelly, and ignore everyone else. I try ish. Fish? Fish? Nutty? Every single time that I'm playing this game and the karaoke songs just makes me sweat. Really need to go to the toilet. Cons are chill. Outside of that, less is still very judgy unless it's a carnival, of course, I roll. It is very good, but that's why it's also chill when you're traveling with, like, friends. Because the people that are judgy don't really bother that much. I find it funny when I, like, sit on the train and uh, people, like, that came back from the con are also on that train and there's no sit place and people go sit next to me. And, I'm, and I can just start talking with them even though I'm not in cosplay myself. <laughs> I've actually met a few people through that. I usually go alone. Kelly! Kelly! We should go together then. Even though uh, you're all the way in a different uh, side of the Netherlands. That you won't be alone. And uh, by the time I can, like, uh, cosplay all might, because I'm getting bulky as shit. <laughs> or some of uh, the other guys that rip their shirts off and, like. True. Nah, Kelly doesn't even live, like, two hours away. Kelly lives, like, what, one half? One hour away? Two hours is, like... Two-thirds of the country travel time. <laughs> like, you can literally... And from where I live, I can go to, to the top of the Netherlands within three hours by train. Oh shit, I should have gone in actually to start the next chapter. 
three hours, and you would cross the NL from one point to the other. Three hours here, and you're halfway to Oslo. I wanted to go to DCC this November, but I already say it's all tickets are sold on. Jesus Christ. Give me a sec. If you look a little bit north, Kelly, you will find Norway. Oh, damn it, you guys. Um, yeah, I... Honestly, I've been contemplating, because my little sister wants to, like, go to a convention, a convention, at some point as well, really badly. And I was like, yo, I'll go with you if you want to. Because she's really... I'm surprised because my little sister didn't seem like the kind of girl that would like anime or manga. But uh, she started watching anime at some point. And obviously I've give her like the tips of which animes to watch. And uh, because, you know, I got this giant ass list with a giant ass list of already watched. And she actually started like buying actual manga volumes at some point because she likes collecting them and putting them up. And I was kind of surprised by that. Didn't actually anticipate that she would enjoy that. But yeah, I'd like to go to a convention again, but I probably wouldn't go as big as DTC anymore. Because the last time I went to like a very big one, uh, I was with my best friends and it just was, it was fun. But it was just a little bit lacking, I felt. Scarlet Witch. Come to Norway. We have small cones. <laughs> but that would be like 15 times your budget, Ziller. Scarlet Witch. Oh! That would be dope. I can be your guide. But yeah, DC is something. I mainly go for the dealer hall slash artist hall alley and your translator. Yeah, so... <clears throat> I used to really go for, like, meeting the people, right? Yeah. Uh, before it was, like, hanging out with Kel as well, right? And... I would always go to conventions just to go and see Sakura Floor and chill with her because Sakura Floor is like just an amazing person. In the meantime, she's become insanely famous as well and... Whew. There is like... Uh, there's no way! <laughs> I'd really be happy to see her again one time and just hang out with her, but oh, she's been so busy. Insanely busy. Really? Twice today? Okay. Uh, yeah, no, thanks. Um, I need sound! Um... But yeah, my, fir my ever first convention that I went to was, uh, like, right next to me. 
like right next to where my mom lives and where I live now, by the way. That was my ever first convention. I think it was 21. And that's where I met Sakura Floor. <clears throat> yeah, like I, the first time I met Sakura Floor, she was still like, she had, <laughs> that was the difference between now and back then. She was still wearing like a uh, regular bought Cinderella dress from the internet with a wig, right? And her own frying pan. And it was hilarious compared to what she does now with all her own crafts and everything. The, the amount of that she grew, like she, Sakura is literally a uh, role model to me to just not give up and keep going until you can like do things that you love. Yeah. She's also such a very optimistic person and like a brings positive energy. I can I can only like say good things about Sakura Floor, and if anyone ever is like I do. I'd be this inch, if someone next to me is like, ah, Sakura 4 sucks, she can go die, I'd be... Bitch, you say what? <laughs> it's like... Sakura, Sakura 4, like, Sakura is just, like, one of the best people ever. I just can't, like, hate her, there's no way. If you hate, if you hate Sakura 4, you're just empty inside. I, I just can't help it, like... But yeah, it... Fanboy much? But she really has my respect and, like, everything, because... Motivation, thanks to her, to keep going? Great person. But yeah, that was my first time meeting Saku, and I would usually go to conventions to, like, either meet up with Yukel or with, uh, her. Or to just go and see, because I don't really know that many people, obviously. And I wouldn't know how to actually make easy contact with people without, like, shitting myself. <laughs> I did it once, right? It's not really, uh... easy job, though, but... <sighs> I really, I really, really, really want to move from this place. So, I think I said this once before. I don't know if uh, Kelly was here, but my neighbors, like, my house is very, very not soundproof, right? Everything goes through. But I have these, like, neighbors, and it's, f for some reason, it's the second time today already. Like, it was in the afternoon after my little brother left that they were going at it as well. But... She just, like, it doesn't sound like she's having fun during the entire excavate, and it is that, like, uh, I have my mic setting so that you can't hear too much of the surrounding sounds, but it's like, as if I'm just watching porn, like, in my room. That's, that's the audio level, I would say, and it's so fucking uncomfortable. Because it's not like... I don't even know what's going on up there. It just sounds like she's getting raped by three men or something in her ass because she keeps screaming, no, 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 oh no. And I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, already, I'm already like a very spongy person. I like take up a lot of uh, <laughs> atmospherical energy, but that is like... I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. If I go walk outside, you don't hear anything. If I lay on my bed, it comes from like above me, right? But if I'm sitting here, it comes like from behind me. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know where it's coming from, because otherwise I would indeed have like called the cops and be like, yo, a number uh, blah blah is... Uh, uh, something is going on. I keep hearing this woman scream like, no, no, no. Because, yeah, I would have done that by that time. But because you can't hear it outside, and you can only hear it, like, literally in my room, maybe in, like, other people, their houses as well, they can hear it. But 
I, like, I don't know where it's coming from. And it's not like it lasts very long either. It's like, what, five to ten minutes, but it's like... <laughs> uh... Yeah, but I don't know, I don't think the police would know where it's coming from either. Like, they would literally have to come in, then go out, uh, ring the bell everywhere, and then... By the time the police would be here as well, it would already be over, because... I hear it like a minute one, I would call minute two. By the time the police would be here, it's like 30 minutes later. And it's already over by that point. There's like literally no point in me trying to call. It's just there's no way of figuring it out. It's like, it's insane. It's like, it's short, it's annoying, and it makes my head hurt. And I'm like, oh, please end. <clears throat> But yes, a very frustrating moment for me because uh, I, I, at least I'm glad it's like right now and not in like an hour or two when I'm laying in my bed and have like sweet silence around me and not that. It's very frustrating and it makes me feel very uncomfortable. Like, if... Uh, Leave the curry to me. If it, like, wasn't that bad that it sounded like someone was getting uh, torn to shreds by uh, a monster uh, dick or something, then I wouldn't have bothered with it as much. But it's so loud and it's, like, so unfunny. <laughs> it just makes me very uncomfortable. Yeah, okay, I just have to say that, and uh, it's gone now. Like, I need to keep talking during it, because otherwise it's just gonna ring through my ear, and like, ah, uh, no! And I can't turn my sound up any louder, because then the mic will pick up the sound, and it's super annoying as well. I'm just glad that when I am not streaming, or doing anything else, I can turn the music up, or watch a video, it's extremely loud! <laughs> But yes, reasons, one of the reasons why I really want to move from here, other than the space is just too cramped and I uh, like a little bit of a bigger place. And I really don't like this piece of neighborhood or my uh, apartment complex. I'm, I'm just a little bit too for this area to just walk into places with a uh, puke on the wall or piss on the floor or whatever. Or moaning neighbors that are like, don't know what's going on up there. <laughs> Bigger would definitely be nice. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, you know what it looks like right now. It's just a little bit different than before. But there's not much space. My bed is, like, literally in my room. Plus, I would just love to have, like, a gaming room that I can, like, make look a little bit nice. There's just... There's, like, no walls that I can make look nice. And, uh... Do something about it. Ow. Fuck you, zombie. Sorry, Oni. You'll just have to wait a little longer. Can you do that for me? That's a good boy. Be brave now. See you soon. Bye now. Who's that? I mean, but this is my first, like, house of my own, though, so it was nice for as long as it lasts. It's just a shame that, uh, being, uh, having, like, a Registry time of six years is not gonna get me uh, a new place in Daisyke at least. Mr. Kiryu, it was a little boy, that little boy who sent me the message, Koichi. Right, the one who is going to marry you when he grows up. Really upset because I haven't been coming to school. He's having a meltdown saying he wants to see me. Poor kid. But with the things the way they are in Kamarucha, there isn't much he can do. I don't know what to say to him. I can tell him the truth, of course. I wish I knew how to help. Me too. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm being a real downer, aren't I? Thank you for coming. Hey, 
It's not... Uh, Kel, you don't actually have work, right? Kel, how old are you right now? Do you have, like, uh, UFA outkering for the time being until you work? Let's go eat something, because... I don't want to waste too much time. We did most of the minigames. Because, like, here... Uh, the area for me is, like, 1250 once a year. It's really, really is good to be registered, at least. Even if you, like, can't afford a house right now, it's going to take a long time before you can actually uh, rent. Especially with things, how things are right now. It really is important. I usually just forget. <laughs> Don't forget, damn it! <laughs> bad, Kelly, bad! I know! I mean, the good news is, is that you don't hate living with your parents as much that you are, like, forcing yourself to remember, right? Because... Uh, I, I literally, I, uh, I used to live, like, uh, uh, protective living. Right? And uh, I, I would not risk missing uh, registration and uh, keeping that up to date because I just needed to go away. It's just a shame that it's like takes so fucking long bef- oh damn. It just, it's just such a fucking shame that it takes so incredibly long before something uh, becomes available to you because you need to be registered for so long. Or, you know, uh, have a good job and be able to rent uh, higher rent thingies, right? But it, uh, yeah, it really sucks. But you are indeed very lucky in that regard that you don't mind living with your parents. I mean, I bet there'd be enough people that would fucking die living with their parents. I mean, I love my parents, but I don't think I could ever, like, live with them again unless I really have, like, my own place. My parents uh, are like we re they really want to like move to like um, a very large house but somewhere in not in a city right but more in a place with uh, a lot of green around it uh so that they don't have to yeah. Well, so that they could buy a house there, right? With a lot of green and stuff like that. Uh, if they would uh, go, like, live far away in the middle of the Netherlands, yeah. and I still don't have a car license, I would probably go with them. But only if I'd, like, get my own with stuff, because I wouldn't be able to, like, have to deal with their rules, so to say. I want, like... I do want to have my own space. It's not like I'll make sure that everything is dirty and be annoyance, but don't, don't be like, <laughs> I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing living on your own at this age. Uh... But it's also nice to know that you're just at a place where you don't feel tied down or something like that. 
There's no time to cry. <laughs> Chops is orange. Still expect others to live alone so early, and I'm like, with this house market, in this economy? Yeah. Wait, I thought I said she could have her causes. Why the f Okay. Oh, I guess we gotta go- Oh, I hate this. I don't think we actually fill up entirely. <laughs> okay, you know what? We'll stay for one extra time. Scared to live alone, so... Okay. Uh... Why- why are you scared to live alone, Kel? That- that does make me kind of curious. What is, like, why are you scared of it? What is it? What if things happen? Like what? Like what? You are Fire, intruder, etc. See, okay, let's, let me, um, intruders, right? Tempe. We, we Tempe. just had, I just said this by uh, something, when Dave said, like, uh, rhymes on the streets. But the Netherlands is probably one of the few countries that has so little, um, uh, crime happening. I feel like when you're talking like about America, it feels like there's crime on every street every single day. But in the Netherlands, because it's so like, well, just, just let me talk through everything other than the fact that you're a woman, okay? I'm gonna try and make your worries just a little bit less than what they are. But yeah, the. Crimes in the Netherlands are not as massive or often happening as they are, like, in a country like America. That's one thing. Secondly, fires rarely happen. Just make sure you have a fire detector and if you, uh, like, be careful with everything, there will not be a fire. I've lived on my own for... Way too long, seven years now already, I guess. And I've never had to deal with a fire. Lost her home to a fire because neighbor's house was on fire. Yeah, but that's just really bad luck, Kel. Like, the chance that that would happen to you is, like, so minimal. And... So Though I, un I can understand, especially because we are anxious people and we, like, do have these kind of things, right? I don't think it's, like, very... <sighs> Even... I I've seen pictures of your house, Kelly. You're... The streets in your house look, and your house look amazing. If you, you've seen my house, right? If you go for something like this, I've seen pictures of your house. I've seen your yard. I've seen everything. You make pictures with your cats all the fucking time, Kel. I see everything. I can slightly imagine what your house looks like. They look like... Expensive, large houses with people that have money. Sure, though, but those houses track uh, burglars because they think I can get money out of this. If you go for a house that doesn't look that nice, for example, and it's just something like what I have, there's highly a chance that someone is like, oh, let's go inside here. Unless you're having, like, this big billboard hanging, I've got lots of money in my house, come and break in. <laughs> I don't think people would easily decide to break in unless it's for something... other reasons. Now... 
I understand the I am a woman, so uh, <laughs> I, I can understand that part as well, why you would be scared. But I really think, and this isn't something from someone that like... Uh, <laughs> this is this is about from someone that has been really enjoying living on his own, having his own food to cook, uh, not having to deal with like people that you're just not in the in the mood for, right? But living on your own gives this form of freedom and chill, relaxing moment, right? I do not exactly know how big your house is. But when I lived with my parents or on the, the flight shit, it was always like we were... You could never have that moment of... Silence, independence, and you're alone right now. You don't have to worry about anyone in your house or someone else. Those are like really... Moments where you can grow in, right? Like... I don't say rush and you need to get a house of your own right now, but living on your own gives a bit of a, like, growth. It is, you are the person that takes care of your house. Uh, you need to, if you need to uh, clean your toilet, you need to clean your toilet. <laughs> Something like that, right? You get, you, you get that little bit of a, a grow up thing. No, I am not your mom, but I am explaining what how it felt for me when I decided to literally go live on my own. And sure, there will always be moments where you're like, oh, this is kind of scary or this is kind of annoying. But if you don't live on your own, it, you'll miss that little part. And... I'm not, I'm not trying to like... <laughs> Be your mom, right? But I'm trying to like explain how what it could bring you, even though you have these fears. It's like it's something. It's it's uh, you'll get more dependent on independent. You'll become more independent. Just said that because she said the same thing about it. Come back to clean your toilet. <laughs> I come back to clean your toilet. It. But the Kel, isn't that <laughs> do it? <laughs> but isn't that surprising, right? That your mom says the same kind of thing as that I'm saying right now. That that must mean like uh, we're not just saying shit to you. There's like some some sense of truth to it, right? Uh, it it just makes you a little bit. There's just comes a little bit of independence with it, and uh, you'll learn how to be more on your own and have to deal with your own kind of things. Like, if something breaks, you can, sure, ask your mom, like, yo, mom, do you know what I should do at this point? And she'll tell you, yeah, just call this, this, or that person, and they'll come and fix it, and blah, 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 right? You learn new things that you won't learn when you're living with your parents. And I'm not saying, like, you'll be living with your parents until you meet this guy and you decide to live together, right? <laughs> but it's an easier... It's easier to become more independent than once you decide to go live together, because then you'll stay sheltered, naive, and scared. Because that that is, like, what you will... Uh, scratch away at, at that shelteredness, that, that naiveness, and that being scared if you go live on your own. Makes sense? And I'm sitting here like, oh damn, what kind of nasty stuff have you done to toilets that your easy yelling to clean as? I think you guys are lying, but as the chicken that I am. Yeah. Uh, to that, Kelly, I'll say, I don't think you're a chicken, really. I think you just need to f see that moment at some point and you're and you'll be like we're just going to do this, right? I know what it's like to be scared. Well, everything. 
But I bet you can do it, Kel. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, to build a happy home. I'm being distracted. I like talking with Kel. I'm, sometimes I miss talking with Kel because Kel and I have a lot to talk about. Right, Kel? <laughs> right? <laughs> Getting distracted. So <Sorry> yeah, <about> <laughs> I won't be entirely alone, I guess. I will have my cats. <laughs> Whoops. That's completely fine, Kel. Honestly, I wish I could have pets right now because I would love to have pets. But uh, I at least need, like, another room. Because it's just like there's not enough space. in here. I'm looking at the prospect of living on my own, and I know I could do it. Zillar, aren't you living on your own? And I'm a fucking smooth brain. <laughs> Listen, I am a five-head brain, okay? And it hurts every single time that I think. Son. Okay, we're almost done with the hostesses. We just have to finish this side quest in a bit. You might be five heads, but you're not smooth brain. No, definitely not. I wish I was smooth brain. <laughs> As a chronic headache ever, I don't know what my brain does. Kel, did you know that until recently, I used to have that same issue? Recently, I finally learned how to actually relax instead of just be tense all the time. It's not a good thing to be. Really? Okay, then what? What? what is smooth brain to be exact, Ziller? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Oh, snap! I'm running circles like a bitch, yo. Circles like a bitch, yo. The stupid person refers to the lack of surface area. I'm just <laughs> The general thought is that the more serves air, you know, wrinkles, creases, etc. Brain has the smarter person is conversely a person with a smooth brain, no wrinkles, has less serves air. <laughs> Puts his shirt on backwards again. That smooth brain is dumber than a pile of shit. If I'm not, then you're definitely not. Zillar, the fact that you can explain to me what a smooth brain is makes not a smooth brain, okay? Urban Dictionary explained. Yeah, but you didn't go Google smooth brain before you start using the term smooth brain, okay? <laughs> also using Google takes smarts. I know enough people that can use Google well. Now I know smooth brain men stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Zillar, I disagree. You're not the smooth brain. Fuck you. <laughs> like seriously. I can have intellectual conversations with you, okay? That means you're not stupid. <laughs> Zillan is a beautiful gem of a human being. But intellectual to whom? To me, 
okay? And I am Giga Chet 5 brain and my head hurts. <laughs> Making my head hurt. You're being a smooth talker right now. <laughs> I did talk myself into top grades on my oral exam. See? You can say whatever you want, but to be able to do that, you gotta be at least a little bit smart. Talking bullshit and making people believe it is not not smooth brain. Double negative is positive. Wait. Is not not smooth brain. Fuck this is true. But that doesn't that make oh man. See, I am Giga Chat 5 brain, right? I cannot I cannot understand this line to I did say double negative is positive, but how does that fit? <laughs> Zillar, stop thinking you're a dumbass. You're smarter than you think. <laughs> God. Yes, sir. If it makes Miss Hayashida sad, I won't do it anymore. Good boy work with pricing now and if I put a minus on discount I will not become a discount. <laughs> but something you pay extra. I have seen this. If you can't dazzle them with brilliance, baffle them with bullshit. Yeah, but listen, having still being able to baffle someone with bullshit is a form of smart. Like, you're using your smarts in the wrong way, but it's still a form of smart. <laughs> you can say whatever you want, but if some... Like, if someone can make shit up right there at the spot, get the entire audience to believe it, then you're doing something right, which is not... <laughs> you... <laughs> what the fuck the hell? Ninety-nine percent of bull brilliance is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, the bullshit becomes brilliance as long as people believe it. Like, just listen to this Andrew Tate guy. He blasts bullshit nonstop, but yet he fucking makes money out of that bullshit. <laughs> oh, my brain. Are you sure you didn't want to go with him? We got out of the quarantine zone after all. <sighs> I need to take a deep breath. I thought about it while we were looking for Koji, and I realized the city sunk if no one is willing to stay here and fight. If we all turned tail and ran, what would happen to all the people left behind? I've been inside and know people who are still trapped. I can't leave my friends at the club. I'll stay inside and fight with you, Kyuri san You sound pretty serious about this. I am. Then I won't stop you. I'll do everything I can to keep you safe. Yay! I don't need to worry about a thing. So, now that that's settled, did you mean what you said to Koichi? What did I say? Come on, you said you cared about me. Oh, sure. I mean it. Yay, I'm super happy to hear that. Let's get back to the club. Actually, I'm pretty tuckered out. I think we could find a spot to uh, rest up a bit before we head back. 
Mm-hmm. You sound awfully eager for someone so tired. No, I'm super serious. We should totally go. Come on! <sighs> it's hurting because you have too many wrinkles and creases and all the bullshit we spew gets stuck on these and start to hurt. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, Siller. See, another smart sentence. <laughs> Listen. Do you know how long we've been working on just purely <laughs> the fucking hostesses? We did one fucking chapter, guys, and then we went straight to doing side missions and hostesses. We've been streaming for five hours and ten minutes. Okay. Yay, we're done! We've done all the hostesses! Ow. Oh, the wording. The word, the... Listen, okay, I did not word it like that on purpose. I know I'm a perfect with libido that goes over 9,000, but uh, I'm not that smart. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, my brain. Uh. Shorty horny bonk. Yeah, I still need to. I did that clip of yesterday, not yesterday's, Monday's horny bonk. Where I accidentally hit my webcam onto the floor with the horny bonk. I thought it was funny. <laughs> well, glad you think it was funny! Uh, let me think. What time is it? It's 22.55. Let's get out of here and do a side mission. Group. I need to go check the email. You wreck! I know. Horny bone goes wrong. Yeah, I need to make a short out of that one for Instagram and uh, YouTube. I don't know how to make it look even more funny though. I should probably like freeze it right at the moment that I hit it and then be like. This is the moment. Gordy fucked up. Got some effects, yeah. I don't know what yet. Like, I'm not that creative in video editing. We have fun. We have fun. I like that. But bro, my head. I love the Yakuza games, but I'm will definitely be happy when we get to play something else soon. I'm going over to Cyberpunk 2077, second playthrough. And get a few mods installed as well to make it a little bit easier and better looking. Don't have to walk around with ugly ass clothes the entire time. Creepy screech. Yeah, that's the screech of the crybabies. Those are uh, female zombies that uh, scream out loud and attract more zombies. They look a bit like hostesses, so I guess that works. Yeah, they're annoying, but... Thankfully, I don't have to get laid with those hostesses. <laughs> oh, look! We found, we've got a prize for fucking all the hostesses. I, I mean, I've won all the hearts of all the hostesses. Uh, 
there is no end to this. I'm pretty sure Yakuza 6 will not have me have to flirt with hostesses anymore. It will be a different minigame. Maybe 5, not either, but I didn't pay attention enough to the wiki for that. So I guess I'll see. Arase returns. Yes, mistress. I'm a pervert. Yes, mistress. That was this um that line came from uh Yakuza Zero, by the way, of uh side quest. They didn't have that much uh Japanese dialogue. But um it had a lot of sub uh, uh, sub stories with uh, funny things. Yeah, very shiny gun. I always spoke shiny Pokemon. So talking about fucking shiny Pokemon, I've been like uh, at least what. 700 resets before I got my uh, Alpha Shiny uh, Luxury. Finally, like yesterday, I think it was? No, Tuesday. Really took a long time. Super annoying. No, not live, that's for sure. But I did uh, tell Zillar in the Discord because he was gonna help me get one when he was still playing. But I finally got one myself. And with that note, I'm out. <laughs> Sep, have a good night, my dude. Good luck tomorrow and work. It's almost time for weekend. Joyer didn't get it. Uh, yeah, no, it took me that uh, that one took me way too long to understand. Seth, listen, I am not Nuxtaku. I am not talking about fucking Pokemon right now. <laughs> yeah, same. Takes a little bit sometimes, right? Sometimes Sep is just too smart. <laughs> Sure. Sep is too sad, that's for sure. No, no, Sep, you're not sad. You are. You fit perfectly into our degenerate world here. Good night, Sep. Sleep well. Talk to you next time. Gonna do Arase's chain quest for tonight, and then most likely it'll be a good time to end. I can't believe that I'm gonna post this video on fucking YouTube eventually. If people ever watch far enough into this video, they're gonna be like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Hey Lizzie, welcome back! But then again, people already think that, so who cares? I didn't go nap. Yeah, that's what you say, but uh, whenever you say that, you're always lying, so. Lizzie, Lizzie, Lizzie. You missed fun conversations. Me? Love? See, that's what you do all the time as well. You can't trust the word she says. I was about to say, no, my annoying butt can't go to the pirate chat, but never mind. 
Kelly, you're not annoying. You're great. I don't remember how we ever met, but I'm glad we did. But I believe it was the Pokemon drawing group on Facebook. Wouldn't be too surprising, actually. It was such a long time ago, though. Sounds like us, yeah. So long. Wouldn't know where to begin. Ah,わかった. Is there even another way around? Shit. Last shot got the zombies worked up. Listen, I got a fucking satellite laser. I can clean up the trash myself. But I guess I should kill when I try not to. <laughs> Got almost done with this diamond painting. So close. You're painting a diamond? It's like painting by numbers, except you pick small Chinese stones on a sticky canvas, I see. I really want to do more drawing, but I also hate the fact that I'm super anxious lately about drawing in general. Even though I've been super improving. Kelly, have I told you yet that I'm actually working on the uh, writing a story that I want to turn into a comic, building a world. Yeah, yeah. The world building is super fun. I'm really enjoying it. Once I get to the part that I actually need to turn it into a comic, it's gonna be so much work and it scares the living fuck out of me.
I mean, it's fair, but... It's more like that I really don't have to be scared. I've been drawing for so long. And I've been like really getting confident in my skills and the things that I can do. Just dummy brain. Dummy, dummy. Oh well. Wait. It said leave the quarantine zone. Gotta lure out snipers, Aras said. I'm like following a guide on everything because. <laughs> Having to f sometimes having to figure everything out is not like that great. Especially when there are no mission markers or anything. Does your mom enjoy doing those? Zillar. with the fucking uh, satellite laser. <sighs> I really like it when the game just tells me to be walking around without the objective. That's great. enjoy being able to spend all that creativity in my head. long time. My mom used to like to like work in puzzles. And I'd go there and sit with her, help with the puzzle. Mm. I do think my mom has been working a lot today uh, lately though. Which feels kind of bad. Working and helping everyone. 
安心しなこっちの借り返すまでは懸命に生きててもらう<笑>てめえがスネーカーに置かれるからねなら隔離エリアここからは別行動だ I mean I get yeah it's true but it's not really necessary for her to work as much as that she does but she does do enjoy like cleaning houses for people that's the job that she does because she can technically just so now put music in her ears or around her and she just chill But recently, she has been like saying that she just doesn't have enough time to do other things or relax. But if you look at her schedule, she. Like, Monday is the only day that she's technically free, except on the day that I need to go to uh, horse therapy, horse buddy. But then she works <laughs> like Tuesday till four from like early. Pretty decently early morning, right? And then on Wednesday, she is like almost the entire day with my grandma and my aunt. And then Thursday is another mostly full work day. And Friday, she only has work in the mornings. And they're also like doing work stuff in. The living room right so like fixing up the living room and then there comes the things that she needs to help my little sister or she needs to help me with things or she needs to help my little brother with things or my grandma or anyone else and like she likes doing it but she also just doesn't know how to relax anymore recently um uh, she had a she had a switch light right which she used to play a lot of uh animal crossing on but last friday was her birthday and we actually got her a normal nintendo switch that she can use on the tv because she really wanted that because she couldn't see very well on the switch light anymore and she does now actually take a little bit of time to actually go play her games. Which is just, like, great, because she wants to, but she also is like, oh, but I don't have time, I have things to do, and, uh... Belated birthday to her, yeah. And she was really surprised with that. Also very happy. Kitty. Then. Yeah. I, find, I, I usually find birthdays very hard because I don't know what to get people. But I'm glad that these days, like, my uh, mom, my dad are pretty easy on it and we can just, like, figure something out together. Just really bad with the birthday stuff. It was actually my little sister that came up with the idea because my stepdad and I were both uh, still thinking that my mom wasn't sure if whether or not she wanted a Nintendo Switch for the TV. <laughs> Till my brother's birthday is soon. But. Yeah, the thing for me is, right? Because this is, this is probably a thing with my autism and such, I'm really bad with birthdays, yeah. This is something that is probably has something to do with my autism. But I, I don't really need, like, a surprise or something. If someone just walks up to me and says, 
yo, I want to get you a birthday present. What should I get you? I can just name a few things that I like. Right? And I'm fine with that. Where they can just like hang out with me or give me money. I'll figure it out myself then. It's fine as well. I also like just eating good food. So, uh, yeah. And then everyone's like, oh, what should we get you? And I'm like, nothing. Then they tell me I'm difficult. Yeah, but that's because people expect you to, like, have something at least. But because, like, if you... If you know yourself and others and you don't want anything... Uh, and people don't understand that, it's just weird. Always that word, always. Or they... Yeah, but we have to give you something. It's because people don't understand that people are happy to just spend time with each other sometimes. Or don't need a gift. <clears throat> Which is for me the case, right? Yeah, but Kel, that is like, I, I gave you like, um, I think I gave you uh, a Fire Emblem game at some point one year, and I gave you uh, Bravely Default and Bravely Default 2, right? I'm pretty sure it was one of those things, but it's because like we talk, during that period of time we used to talk a lot. Uh, during that period of time, we did really like you to talk a lot, and you'd say like these games are the ones that I really want. I don't have the money, and then your birthday came around, and I was like, "Yo, I have extra money anyway. I'll give you that for a game." I'm not paying attention to the Shimamoto. He's probably talking shit that he wants to kill Kiryu and uh, like become a big boy or something. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. ゴッチも手目を捉えてるぜ。キリュウを殺せばお前も死ぬ。そうはや。お前がやるものは何もねえ。今さら引けると思うか。エルモノはねえとして。これ以上失うものもねえんだ。好きにしな。どっちに転
okay, you know what? I'm taking a break. But I'm still, like, collecting. I'm not actually going to be playing because the only issue with playing is that I can't use cards that are bent too much because if you actually go to a very competitive tournament and people uh, are like, yo, these cards are uh, bent, yo, you could get disqualified. Purely because if you have bent cards, you could probably tell which cards you're going to draw and it gives you an advantage and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, that's, like... Super, super salty. But by this point, I'm like, yo, I do like playing it a lot, but I don't think it's going to be worth my time anyways. Mostly due to the fact that I'm uh, very bad at playing competitively. I'm a very sore fucking loser, and I do not have patience for any of that. So instead, I'll just keep on collecting, because collecting is fun, having shiny cardboard. And maybe at some point I have enough cards collected that I could play games with people that I know. And have some fun duels. And it's saving time! Jeez Louise, what a day today. Yeah. Oh. I'm glad that I'm going to the physiotherapy tomorrow for my shoulder. Something went absolutely wrong. I don't know what it is. My little brother is going into surgery tomorrow in the afternoon. So yeah. Um uh, Kelly, thank you very much for stopping by, as always. Glad to have you and that you had fun chatting. Uh, I'm gonna go as well. Zillar, if you're still here, thank you very much for hanging out as well. If Lizzie is still here, SQ, anyone, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, it was a long one and we didn't do that much. We still have a shit ton of side quests left to do, but after that we should fairly easy go to endgame. Tomorrow, maybe. Not 100% sure. But yeah, that's it for tonight. I hope you all enjoyed. Talk to you all next time. Good night, sleep well, and until next time. Adios.